so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! Hello! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And look at where we're at! Whoa! Yeah, today we're at Moonlight Rollerway in Glendale, California! Woohoo! This is a place where you can roller skate! Woohoo! Yeah! Have you ever roller skated before? <laughs> it is so much fun! But first, I have someone really important and special to introduce you to. It's Mika, and she is my best friend. Hey, Blippi. Whoa! Hi, everyone. I'm Mika. Yeah! Mika is my best friend. Oh, Blippi, you're my best friend. Oh, Mika, <laughs> you're my best friend. <laughs> hey, Mika, do you want to know what we're going to do today? Yeah. Check it out. Moonlight Rollerway? Does that mean we're rolling? You have to have really good balance. Yeah, you do. I bet you are going to do really good. Oh, well, we'll see. I bet you're going to do really good. Oh, all right, let's go. Yeah, come on. I'm so excited. Let's go. Woo -hoo -hoo. Wow, look at this place, Mika. difference between ice skates and roller skates? Yeah, an ice skate has a blade and roller skates have four wheels, two in the front and two in the back. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Mika. Yeah. Hey, should we go get on our roller skates? Yes, I can't wait. Yeah. Whoa, look at all these skates. Oh, wow, there's so many. Oh, hello. Hi. Hey, who are you? I'm Pedro. Oh, hi, I'm Mika. And I'm Blippi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. What are you up to? I'm disinfecting these skates. Whoa, oh. disinfecting? Ooh, can I see? Yes, you can. Whoa, check it out. Disinfect it. Whoa. <laughs> that way, it can get all of the germs out of the skates and keep them nice and clean. Yeah, so then they're not really stinky. <laughs> ew, ew. <laughs> Here you go, Pedro. Whoa. So you really want to go roller skates? What's the first thing we should do? We first need to figure out what size skate you wear. Oh! Do you know your shoe size? Whoa! If you know your shoe size, that's your roller skate size. <laughs> yeah! Hey, do you have big sizes and small sizes? Or what size do you have? We have from toddler sizes. Oh, so cute! Whoa! <laughs> very big sizes. Whoa! Whoa, check it out! This one's so small. Yeah, and this one's really big. Wow, <laughs> so cool. What's the largest size you have, Pedro? This is the largest one at a 16. Whoa. Up to 16, that's a lot of sizes. Yeah, will you count to 16 with us? Awesome. Yeah. One, two, two three, four, five, six, six seven, eight, nine, nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16! Yeah. Whoa! Ooh. I got these for you, Mika. Thank you! And these are for you, Blippi. Ooh, thank you so much, Pedro! Yeah! Whoa! Shall we go put on our roller skates? Yes, I can't wait! Yeah, let's go! <laughs> Parts on this skate. Yeah, oh look. The wheel. Whoa, let's count them together. Okay. One, two, two three, four. four. Wow. Four wheels. So cool. What's this up front? Oh, this is the toe stop. It helps 
you break so you can stop. Wow, cool. Oh, and check this out. Yeah, it looks like we have some brown shoelaces. So then you can tighten it up around your foot so your foot doesn't fall out. Yep, nice, tight, and secure. Whoa, <laughs> and look, it kind of looks like a shoe, but it's not called a shoe. Yeah. It's called a boot. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, but before we go out and skate, we should probably get on our safety gear. Yeah, safety Oh, let's see. We have. Oh, oh look. What do you do? You do? Yep. Yeah. Wrist guards. Yeah, you put them on your wrists, and then it keeps your hands nice and safe. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. What do you have? Also have some elbow pads. Wow. Yep, they go right here on your elbow. All of these things will protect you in case you fall down. Yeah. Ooh. And these kind of look like elbow pads, but they're bigger. Yeah. These are actually for your knees. Yep. So then your knees are nice and protected. Whoa. <laughs> Woo. And last but not least, helmets. Yeah. Whoa. Mine's the color blue. That's one of my two favorite colors. Yeah. <laughs> and I have all sorts of colors on here. Blue, pink, and orange. Your other favorite color. Oh, me. Well, shall we gear up so then we can roller skate? Yes, I can't wait! Yeah! Okay! Alright, let's go! Whoa, now we have our skates and our helmets on! We should probably put on our knee pads! <laughs> Ooh, maybe that's my helmet! Whoa, yeah they do! Whoa! Super fun. <laughs> All right, now that we have our safety gear on, let's go ride. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. 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 You Whoa. okay? Whoa. Yeah, I'm fine. Whoa. All right. Whoa. It's Whoa. Slippery. Whoa. Whoa. This is tricky. Here I go. Whoa. It is really. Oh. Whoa. 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 I almost fell. It's so slippery. Yeah, it is. Whoa. Whoa. We need to work on our balance. Oh no, I can't stop! Whoa. Watch Whoa. out! Whoa. Whoa. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, Mika. Whoa! I'm glad you're wearing a helmet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, all the safety gear really helps us stay safe. Yeah, Whoa. and it makes it less scary if you're gonna fall down. Yeah. Whoa. 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 You did? Do you yeah. need help up? Oh, sure, thank you. All right. Whoa. 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 Oh, thanks, Flippy. <laughs> You're welcome. Wow. wow. This is really hard, huh? Yeah, it's pretty tricky trying to keep your balance up here. Yeah, it is. Whoa. Whoa. Do you see that? Wow. Whoa. That's really good. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Hi, guys. How are you? Pretty Hi. good. How are you? What's your I'm name? doing really well. My, I'm Coach JC here with Moonlight Rollerway. And I would like to teach both of you to skate better. Wow. If you're a coach, that means you must know a lot about roller skating. Just yeah. a little bit. <laughs> but let's get started. What I'd like to do is teach you first, see how you're losing your balance. Yeah. We want to get you both in the T position. So you're going to roll your skate behind. Put it in a T, and look, you can stand up nice and tall. Whoa. And hold your balance. Wow. So yeah, see? Yeah. And I noticed that you were just fall, and so yeah. let's see if we can go over that. Let's okay. go over okay. practice falling and getting back up. Wait, okay. we're gonna practice falling? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome, so let's all sit down. Okay. We're gonna get down just like this. Okay. And the Whoa. first thing you always wanna do when you're on the ground is get your hands off the floor okay. so that no one can roll over them. Oh. So hands in the lap, okay. and then we're gonna roll over on two knees. Okay. So we're gonna go two knees down, and then we're gonna go one knee up, 
We're gonna take both hands, put it on that knee, and we're gonna look up because we're going up. We're gonna push straight up and look, we're gonna go right back into that T. We Whoa. just practiced. Wow! Now Mika, you can get up on your own if you fall again. Yeah, wow, thanks for teaching us that. No yeah. problem, that's great. So now, can you guys both say one, two, three, roll? Yeah. yeah. One, two, two three, three, roll! roll. Awesome, that means you can skate. Okay, what? so we're gonna put action to all those words you just said. Okay. So we're gonna now take our T and move it into a letter V. Letter and v. by putting a letter V with your skates, see how we can touch the back wheels? Yeah. Yep. We're gonna put our hands in front, we're gonna keep our knees bent, and we're gonna keep our hands nice and straight and our heads up. And we're gonna go one, two, three, roll. Okay, okay, let's do that together. All right, ready? Yep. One, two, three, roll! Whoa. See, and if you lose control, what's the letter we go right back to? The T. Oh. The letter? The T. T. That's gonna be your favorite letter today. <laughs> okay, so from the T, we're gonna go back to the B and we're gonna try rolling just a little bit further this time. All right. Ready? One, One two, two, three, three roll! roll. And we're gonna keep going, and this time, we're gonna try and put our heel back okay. and lift and get that toe stop into the surface. Oh, whoa, that See? was cool. We just stopped with the toe stop. We really just stopped. Toe stop, and now watch, to the T. To the T. Our favorite letter. And yeah. then we're gonna go right across, and we're gonna keep going with our marching and our hands strong in front. Whoa. One, two, three. One, two, three. three. Roll! Whoa. Wow, look how good you both are getting. Whoa. I'm we so excited. Getting, yeah, we are getting really good, huh, yeah, Mika? I feel much better about skating now. Whoa! Great job, you guys, and you're skating safely. Yeah! Whoa, look well, at us. shall we show us your stuff now? Yes. Yeah. You guys go on, enjoy your skate. All right. Thank you. Nice job. Yeah. and Mika did really good. Her balance is great. Oh, thanks, Blippi. You did really great, too. What a fun day. <laughs> Glad you guys had a good time. Yeah. Thanks. See you later, Pedro. Wow, that was so much fun. <laughs> we learned so many cool things today and really got to practice our balance and skating skills. Yeah, we did. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Mm -hmm. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah! B-L-I-P-P-I! Oh, yeah. -I -P -P -I. Blippi! Good job! Wait, Mika, how do you spell your name? Oh, I'll tell you. It's M-E-E-K-A-H. Wow. Mika. <laughs> wow, Mika. Hey, why don't we go on some more fun field trips together soon? Yes, I would love to, Blippi! Yeah, let's go! All right, see ya! Bye-bye! <laughs>
and today we are at O2B Kids in Orlando, Florida. I'm so excited to be here because I love science and I get to do a science experiment right here. Will you do one with me? Awesome, let's see how we can get started. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. I'm Trudy, and welcome to ODBK's new learning playground. Hi, Trudy. Nice to meet you. Well, nice to meet you. So I heard that I could do a science experiment here and make elephant toothpaste. We love elephant toothpaste, and we've actually put together a scavenger hunt for you. What? That sounds so fun. Will you go on a scavenger hunt with me? <laughs> cool. So how do I start? You're all checked in and ready to go. Oh. Okay, let's go! <laughs> Check it out! We're at the science lab! For this science experiment, we need to find six items in our scavenger hunt. We need to find hydrogen peroxide, safety goggles, dish soap, food coloring, measuring cups, and yeast. <laughs> okay, can you help me look for these items? Great, let's go. Whoa. Mind gym. Whoa, this must be a room for your mind. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. I recognize some numbers here. Will you count with me? <laughs> okay, we have one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, that's so fun. Oh, okay, I don't see any items yet for our science experiment. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's kind of like a musical instrument. <laughs> See all these different colors? Oh, look, there's little items in here that you can find. Oh, looks like a balloon and a little fuzzy ball. Ooh, <laughs> this is fun. Cool. <gasps> Hydrogen peroxide. We found our first item for our science experiment. Hydrogen peroxide can help heal a cut but you do not want to get this in your eyes. So we need to find safety goggles. Okay, good job. We have our first item. Check it out, a word find. So this big puzzle has a bunch of words in it, but they throw other letters in it to mix it all up. So it's kind of hard to see the words. See if you can find any words in here. You have to look really close. Oh, I found one. <laughs> Look, P-E-A-R, pear. Ooh, that's a really yummy fruit. Any other words that can maybe give us a clue to the things that we're looking for? Oh, what about this word? Safety, safety, like safety goggles? Maybe there are safety goggles around here. Oh, look, there's some letters down here. <gasps> Do you know what letter this is? <laughs> it's the letter M for Mika. And it's one of my favorite colors. The color yellow. <laughs> <gasps> we did it. We found safety goggles. Safety goggles are really important when you do experiments because they protect your eyeballs. <laughs> All right, two items down, four to go. Safety goggles and hydrogen peroxide. All right, let's keep looking. <gasps> oh, whoa, it's like a grocery store or a market in here. <gasps> Look at all of this play food. Oh, cool. It looks like it's organized by color. I see green and orange and yellow. Ooh, what is in here? A cucumber slice. I love cucumbers. Oh, and a green apple. That's a nice healthy fruit. And one of my favorite vegetables, 
Broccoli! <laughs> Ooh, and a tomato slice? These are all really healthy foods. Yeah, fruit and vegetables, they have nutrients and vitamins in there. So they're what I like to call an all the time food. They help you grow. Ooh, what's this? Some pizza. Mmm. <laughs> hey, let's see if we can find anything that we need for our science experiment. Whoa! This is like a little restaurant or a diner. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Put a little ketchup on here. Mmm. <laughs> Pretty tasty. Let's see if there's anything in here. <gasps> I found yeast! We need yeast in our science experiment. If you add warm water to yeast, it helps things rise. In fact, you need yeast to make bread. That's right! Hey, we are doing a great job on the scavenger hunt. Let's put this with our other things and then we can keep looking for more items for our experiment. <laughs> Good job. Let's keep looking. Okay, let's keep looking for more items for our science experiment. Whoa, there's a lot of fun things in here. Come over here. Whoa, look at these big blocks. Huh, let's see. What can I make here? Okay. Hmm. Feels pretty sturdy. It could be a new chair. <laughs> put this on it and this. Or it could be a throne. Queen Mika. <laughs> wow. I still don't see anything for our science experiment. Hmm. Maybe there's something over here. Hey, a hula hoop. Check it out. Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> That's right, it's a circle. And it's the color green. Let's see if I can hula hoop. <laughs> Let me try again. Ready, set, hula hoop, hula hoop. Oh, that's a little better. Look, you can also put it on your arm like a giant bracelet. And swing, 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 swing. <laughs> but you know what? This is not something that we need for our science experiment. Fun though. Hmm. Oh, this is a really cool game. Look, you have a spinner. And it tells you where to put your body on the dots. Left, foot, yellow, see? Left foot, yellow. Hmm. Left foot, yellow. Let's see if I can do one more turn on here. Whoop. This is left hand green. <laughs> Whoa. Need to try not to fall down. <gasps> I might fall down soon. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Hmm, come over here. <gasps> Whoa, do you know what this is? It's a bottom of a slide. Should I go down the slide? Okay. Oh, wow, it looks like it's really high up. I wonder if there's anything at the top that we can use for our science experiment. I can't wait to make elephant toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> it says socks only. That means I need to take my shoes off. All right. Let's, oh, they go in these copies over here. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go to the top and see if I can find something for our experiment. See you at the bottom. Oh, <laughs> hi. <gasps> I think I see something for our experiment. I'll see you soon. Woo! <laughs> Look what I found! Dish soap. 
We definitely need this for our experiment. Oh, I'm so excited. Thanks for your help. All right, I'm gonna grab my shoes and our other items for our experiment, and we can keep looking. We have two more to find. Come on. Hello. <laughs> Let's keep looking. <gasps> cool clock. Whoa, look over here. It says A-R-T, art. <laughs> this is an art space. <gasps> cool, look at this big piece of paper. Oh, I could color something on here. Ooh, look at all of these markers. I'm gonna choose purple because it's one of my favorite colors. <laughs> all right, let's, what should I draw? Ooh, I know. See if you can guess. It's a science flask. You could use this in a science experiment, <laughs> but it kind of looks like something else. What do you think? Okay, I'll give you a hint. Do you know now? <laughs> It's two eyes and a nose. <laughs> what else does it need? Oh, right, a mouth. Give it a big mouth, a big smile. Hello. <laughs> oh, there's crayons too. Maybe I could put something else on here and choose a different color. Let's see. Um, oh, I found the food coloring. Look. And it's my two favorite colors, purple and yellow. We're getting closer and closer to finding everything we need for our science experiment. One more item to find, come on. Whoa. <laughs> hey, look at this. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> cool bee. Wow, it looks like this bee's measuring something. <laughs> Hey, Mr. B, I like your style, purple and yellow. Two of my favorite colors. <laughs> hey, it looks like we even have the same kind of shoes. <laughs> Measuring cups. That's the last thing we need for our science experiment. We found everything. Let's head into the science lab. Come on. Hey, Trudy. Hi, Mika, welcome back. Thank you. I think that I found all of the items I need for the science experiment. Yay, may I see them? Oh, yeah. I have safety goggles, hydrogen peroxide, dish soap, food coloring, <laughs> yeast, and measuring cups. Congratulations, Mika, you are ready for the experiment. <gasps> wow, really? There you go. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, an official lab coat, awesome. Enjoy, thank you. <gasps> I'm so excited to do this experiment. Okay, everyone, safety first. <laughs> if you're doing this experiment at home, please make sure to do it with a grown-up. We are going to make elephant toothpaste. But remember, it's not really toothpaste, so please don't use it on your elephants. <laughs> the first step is we need to pour half a cup of hydrogen peroxide into this glass. Okay, and be nice and careful and pour it to the top. Okay. Step one, complete. Second, we need our dish soap. Okay. A squirt of dish soap in there. And you swirl it around, make sure it mixes a little bit together. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now, I'm going to add two of my favorite colors, purple and yellow. Okay. Get a little goop there. It looks black, but once it all mixes together, it's going to look purple. And yellow. And look, the yellow looks orange. But once it comes out of the cup, it's gonna look yellow. Okay. 
All right, next we are going to add our yeast to some warm water. And I already have some warm water right here. And you only need one teaspoon. So let me open this up and get one teaspoon of yeast. Okay. Ooh. There we go, one teaspoon. Add it to the water and stir it around. See, it's all mixing together. Okay. And then we're gonna add it to the glass and hopefully we will see our toothpaste in action. It's going to the top. Whoa! That's so cool. Whoa, did you see some of the colors? Wow, it really looks like toothpaste. Science is so much fun. Isn't that cool? Whoa, it's still going. Whoa. <laughs> there are the colors right there. Oh, that was so fun. Hey, thanks for helping me find all of those items for our science experiment. You were very helpful. <laughs> science is so fun. And we had a lot of fun today, right? We went on a scavenger hunt. We did a word puzzle. Oh, I went down a really cool green slide. And there was a pretend grocery store and art. <laughs> we did a lot today. All for the love of science. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. If you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? Cool. <gasps> Should we spell it on the planet? Science style, <laughs> let's do it. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> Thanks for learning with me, see you soon. <laughs> beep beep, hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Dig It in Torrance, California. They have so many cool construction toys here like excavators and conveyor belts. Oh. I'm going to pretend to be a construction worker. But first things first, safety first. I'll put on my hat and my safety vest. <laughs> Will you pretend to be a construction worker with me? Great, come on. <laughs> I'm at my first construction vehicle. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> I'll give you some hints. It has two arms and a bucket. <laughs> That's right, it's a front loader. <gasps> Check it out. <gasps> okay, let's see how it works. <gasps> oh, start engine. Start. <gasps> wow. <laughs> let's honk the horn. Put it in drives. Now reverse. Back it up. Pardon me. <laughs> oh, gotta turn on my lights. And check out these pedals. Let's park. <laughs> that was awesome. Ooh, and look at these big tires. Black and yellow. One of my favorite colors. Oh, let's see what this does. Spin, spin, spin. Whoa. We can roll it around. This is a big circle. Easier for rolling. <laughs> and these are called treads. They help the wheel get traction. <laughs> and check this out over here. Oh, wow! It's like a construction site. 
And there are three construction vehicles. Red, green, and blue. Oh, and it's a puzzle. The goal is to get each car to its site. This one is for the blue car. Okay, let's see if we can get it over. Hmm. Da, da, da. Hmm, best way to get there. Excuse me, Red. Da, da, da. Oh, I have to go up there. Excuse me, Red. You go down there. Da, da, da. <laughs> we made it. Okay, let's try for Red. <laughs> da, da, da. Which way will we go? Huh, no, that's not the right way. <laughs> da, da, da. Oh, we made it. Okay, one more vehicle to go. Da, 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 da. Oh. Whoa, we did it. We matched all the vehicles. That was so awesome. Oh, check it out. I see something cool over there. Let's go. Whoa, check out this building. It's pretty tall. Oh, and it has a lot of great shapes. Do you know what this shape is? That's right, a triangle. And this shape? Circle, great job. Put this triangle on top. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Hey, let's use this pipe wrench to make sure everything is tight. Nice and tight. Great! I have another wrench in my jam pack. This one's called a crescent wrench because of the shape on top. <laughs> it kind of looks like a moon in the sky. <laughs> okay, let's take our tools and see what needs fixing over here. Whoa! Check out these big blue buildings behind me. <laughs> so tall. Hey! Let's make an M together. Oh, and look, I have the perfect shape for that. Don't they look like rainbow arches? <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, awesome. Now I have a second rainbow arch. <laughs> wow, an M for Mika. <laughs> Job well done. Okay, our project is constructed and finished. On to the next one. We made it to the cement truck. Mix it up, mix, mix it up. Mix it up, mix, mix it up. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, this looks like a hamster wheel. That's a wheel that little hamsters and other animals use to run around and get their exercise in. But in construction, this wheel is used to mix cement. It turns it around and around and around, mixing it all together. Should we try it? Should we be cement that gets mixed and mixed and mixed together? <laughs> yeah, let's give it a try. made me a little dizzy. Whoa. Spin, spin, spin like a cement truck. Spin, spin, spin like a cement truck. <laughs> I saw a lot more cool things to do here while I was spinning. Come on, let's go learn more about construction vehicles. Beep, beep, beep. Burr. <gasps> we made it to our next construction vehicle. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you some clues. It has an arm and a boom and a bucket. That's right, it's an excavator. <laughs> Excavators are used to dig things up. Sometimes it's dirt, but this excavator digs up balls. Okay, we have to stay out of the construction zone, okay? 
Oh, here he goes. Yay! Awesome. Let's try it again. We dug up a lot. Our job here is done. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Look, it's a conveyor belt. A conveyor belt helps construction workers move things from one spot to another so that they don't have to carry them. <laughs> Great. Oh, and look, check it out. Look at all these bricks. <laughs> They're rectangular. See the shape? <laughs> and do you know this color? <laughs> yeah, brown. Oh, and there's another shape too. Can you see it? <laughs> right, circles. Let's count the circles. One, two, Three, great job. Mmm, <gasps> this kind of reminds me of chocolate. Let's pretend that these are chocolate pieces and we want to move them way up there. Come on, let's check it out. Okay, let's put them on the conveyor belt. Mm-hmm, great. Ready, little chocolates? <laughs> turn, turn, turn. Whoa! Wow! I have to keep turning, have to keep turning. <laughs> Whoa, let's get them all the way to the top. There they go! <laughs> yeah! Okay, now we're at the top. At the bottom, we put the chocolate bricks onto the conveyor belt and we turn the wheel, turn the wheel, turn the wheel until they went all the way to the top. And look, this is where they landed. Oh, more bricks are coming. Check it out. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> okay, now I'm ready to go down the slide. I'll see you at the bottom. That was so much fun. Whoa, what's this? Hmm, kind of looks like a bucket. Oh, check it out. When I pull this one down, that one goes higher. Oh, it's a pulley system. It helps get things from one place to another, just like a conveyor belt does. <laughs> Maybe I can send my friends some lunch at the top. But since I don't have lunch, let's see what I have in my jam pack. Oh, look, a little construction vehicle. Let's put it in the bucket and send it up. <laughs> Ready? Here you go. <laughs> so cool. Let's put something in this bucket too. Let's see what I have in my jam pack. Are you ready? <laughs> ready? In you go. Have fun. Woo! <laughs> wow! Now the tiger is going up high. And now it's coming down low. <laughs> now it's going up high. <laughs> and look, our construction vehicle is on the other side. <laughs> wow! Being a construction worker is a lot of fun. Okay, let's drive away. Wow, a tractor race. Since I'm all done with my construction work, let's go on a tractor ride. 
Whoa, 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 in my big tractor. Go, 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 in my big tractor. Beep, beep, backing it up. Vroom! Whoa! That was so much fun! <laughs> Thank you so much for being a construction worker with me today. We rode a big front loader and we pretended to be cement, mixing around in a cement mixer. Then we used the little excavator to dig up a ball pit. Oh, whoa, we did a lot today. Now it's time to hang up my vest and roll on out of here. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. See you later. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Cake Bash Studio in Lake Balboa, California. They have so many fun cakes to decorate here. And maybe I'll get to do some decorating of my own. Come on. Whoa, check out all these delicious treats. Hmm, I wonder what they all are. Oh, hey, look at this treat right here. That's called Tres Leches. Oh, and look, don't these look delicious? Those are cake pops. They kind of look like balloons. <laughs> Can you pretend to hold a balloon and float away? Ooh, wow! <laughs> oh, and check out this. Do you know the shape? That's right, it's a square. Hmm, do you know what fruit this is made out of? <laughs> yeah, it's a lemon bar made out of lemons. Whoa, so many delicious things here. Yum, look at these cakes. I really like how they're decorated. Look, do you know what kind of animal that is? <laughs> That's right, it's a bunny rabbit. Let's pretend to be bunny rabbits. Huff, 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 huff. <laughs> Whoa, it looks like maybe they had a little bit too much carrot cake. <laughs> oh, and look at this one. Oh, it looks lovely. Do you see the shapes on this cake? Do you know what it is? <laughs> yeah, they're hearts, just like this one. <laughs> All right, I'm supposed to be decorating cakes too. Oh, I see someone over there. Maybe they can help me decorate a cake like this one. Come on, let's go. Hey, I'm Mika, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Moretis, how can I assist you? Moretis, I would love to decorate a cake. You came to the perfect place, <laughs> that's what we do. So any idea you may have, we can turn it into a cake. Mm, I'm not sure how I want to decorate my cake yet. Mm, well, we have plenty of inspiration, so Ooh. take some time to look around and I'll meet you in the back so we can get started. Great. All right. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Whoa, look at all these cakes. Hmm. They're all different sizes and they're decorated differently too. Time to get some inspiration. Inspiration is when you're getting ideas that make you want to create. <laughs> Let's check out these cakes. <gasps> Whoa, look, a unicorn cake with a beautiful rainbow on it. <laughs> so colorful. And check it out. Wow, this is called fondant and you can use it to create all kinds of different shapes on cakes like clouds and flowers and different shapes. <laughs> Uh-oh, it looks like rain. Oh, showers. <laughs> Let me get my umbrella. <laughs> so cute. Did you know that you can't have a rainbow without rain? Uh-huh, that's right. And look over here. These cakes, they all have different toppers. This is called a topper because it's at the top of the cake. Oh, and there's a rabbit topper and a topper with a word. Do you know what this says? <laughs> it says love. Let's spell it. 
L O V E love. <laughs> oh, and check it out. The bunny rabbit has a little heart nose. <laughs> oh, I got an idea. Let's turn on this radio and have a 10 second dance party. Ready? Bloop, 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 bloop. I love cake. Cake is great. I love cake because it makes me want to wiggle and shake. <laughs> Okay, I feel all inspired and I'm ready to decorate. Let's go. <laughs> Hello again. Oh, hi Mika. Did you get any inspiration? Yes, I have a lot of great ideas. Awesome. So here, we're gonna get some embellishments that you can add to your cake. And after that, you're gonna meet me at the cake decorating station, okay? Great. <laughs> but first, let's grab your apron. Whoa. Baker and Mika. Thank you. <laughs> cool. I have an apron. I'm Baker Mika, ready to decorate. <laughs> First, let me tie my apron up. Check out all these embellishments. Embellishments are little details you can add to a cake. Whoa, and look, there are so many different types of colors and shapes. Hmm, I'd like to put this on my cake. <laughs> Do you know what these are? <laughs> yeah, bananas. Mmm, they're yellow, just like one of my favorite colors. Okay, oh, speaking of favorite colors, purple, <laughs> yeah, my other favorite color. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I should get out some embellishments of Blippi's favorite colors. <laughs> yeah, okay, I need blue and orange. Oh, check it out. Blue and orange. What do we have here? <gasps> Some pumpkins. Oh, and lots of blue sprinkles. Do you hear that? That's such a cool sound. It's like a maraca. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. I like to decorate cakes. <laughs> so cool. Okay, let's grab some more. Hmm, oh, look at this. Kind of look like mermaid tails. Cool, I'd like some of those, please. And check it out. These are metallic. <laughs> some of those. And, hmm, oh, look. This kind of looks like snow. <laughs> That's pretty neat too. I just washed my hands, I have my embellishments, and I'm ready to start. Awesome, so now we're gonna work in some fondant. Okay. Okay, so we can create some decorations for the cake. Great. You're gonna take the amount of fondant you wanna use, roll it so you can smooth it out. Okay. And then you're gonna roll. Roll it? Yes. Kinda like a ball. Hey, I could even juggle with these. <laughs> there you go, your rolling Ooh, pin. My rolling pin. Now I'm gonna roll it out. So it's nice and smooth and flat. Yeah, one smooth Ooh. motion. <laughs> Thank you. It's kind of like clay. Okay. All right, you're ready. So now you're gonna choose your cutter. Huh, I'd like to choose this flower. You Place gonna that there. press it and wiggle. Press and wiggle. Now can I pull away this extra yes. fondant? Okay, let's pull this part away. Check it out. A beautiful flower. <gasps> Ooh, maybe it's a daisy. Maybe it's a sunflower or a rose. Great, we'll put it right there. Can I make one out of blue fondant now? Of course. So now, roll it. Roll it up just like a ball. Move it out. What's this? Cornstarch. This helps you for it to, for the fondant to not stick to the surface. Oh, okay. Good to know. Now you're ready to roll. Ready to roll. <laughs> Ooh, I like this color blue. How's that? All right, I think that's good. Okay, so 
Now, which shape are you going to use? Hmm, let's do a car. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> now remember, press and wiggle, wiggle. Press and wiggle. Great! Oh, that looks awesome! Oh, I just remembered! I have some cutters in my jam pack. Oh, awesome. Let's do those. I have a bow tie for my best friend, Blippi. <laughs> and, oh, a T-Rex! Roar! Can you roar with me like a T-Rex? Roar! You too. <laughs> okay, I want to do the T-Rex next. All right. There you go. <laughs> A blue T-Rex. That is funny. Ooh. Hello, T-Rex. You can see his bones and everything. All right. Roar. That looks great. Could be a bow tie or a hair bow. Okay, I'd like to finish with this truck. Honk, honk. Edge this out, edge this out. <laughs> there you go. And here we can use that. Oh yeah. Things to see it didn't cut through completely. You can cut it out. Perfect. There. there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's wheel you over, truck. Honk, honk, honk. All right, so now that we're done with fondant, we're gonna be working with frosting. This is our American buttercream, and we have our food coloring. These are primary colors. Yellow, red, and blue. When you mix certain primary colors, you make secondary colors, like purple and orange. Oh, I've got it. I'd like to make purple and orange. All right, so let's do it. Okay, let's scoop in our frosting. All right, so in order to make orange, I'd like to mix yellow and red. Perfect. Now to make purple, I will mix <gasps> red and blue. There we go. Okay. Time to stir. Wow! It's turning orange. It's turning purple. <laughs> Great. That looks delicious. All right, so here's your cake. Now you have everything you need so that you can make your creation. If you need anything else, just let me know. I'll be in the back. Thank you. All right, you're very welcome. Bye, Marini. Bye, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> Okay, let's start to decorate. Woo, I'm excited. Okay, gonna put on my truck. Let's put on our car next. Oh, and look at this. It's a turntable. Oh, spin, spin, spin. Oh, I wanna put my flower on top. Hmm, where should my T-Rex go? Oh, here's a great spot for it. Hmm, I'll save my bow tie for later. Now I'm ready to do some frosting. Oh, look at that, it's so pretty. Wow, three little ringlets. Let's do a little fourth one. Okay, let's put on some embellishments. Bananas! Open this up. Whoa, check it out. Sprinkle these on top. Wow! Okay, let me put on the bow. <laughs> check it out. We did it. We did it. We never ever quit it. We did it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Awesome. We decorated a cake. <gasps> Whoa. 
Decorating cakes is fun and creative too. First, we got inspiration. Then we cut shapes into the fondant and then we frosted our friendship cake. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Okay, friend, I'll see ya later. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today, I'm at the Intrepid Museum in New York City. Check it out, the Intrepid is so big. It's an aircraft carrier that can have airplanes land on it. That's how big it is. <laughs> Let's go inside and explore, come on. Check it out, we're at the Concorde. This is one of the very first supersonic airplanes. Do you know what that means? That means that this plane goes faster than the speed of sound. We get to go inside and check it out, come on. I got you. There you go, you can get it after. Oh, well thank you. <laughs> oh, you wanna, oh yeah. Yes! Oh. oh, can you just, mm -hmm. thank you. Oh, hi, <laughs> I'm Mika, your flight attendant on Supersonic Airlines. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just Mika, I'm just playing. <laughs> this plane is so cool. Check out the seats. Ooh. You can rest your arm and just relax on your flight. <laughs> Did you know that this plane holds the world record for fastest flight from New York to London? <laughs> it got to London in under three hours. That's really, 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 really fast. <laughs> hey, wanna go check out the cockpit? Let's go. Hi, I'm First Officer Mika. <laughs> A first officer assists the pilot. But there's no pilot. Hmm, let's see. I'm gonna just give a little call here. Hello? Hi, yes, it's First Officer Mika, and we don't have a pilot. Mm-hmm. No, I'm looking right now, there's no pilot. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, this is so cool to be in the cockpit. There's so many different buttons and controls, and this is the steering wheel. It controls the wings of the airplane. Oh, look at all of these circles. See? There's a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this, it says visor nose. This controls the nose of the airplane. It can either go down or it can go up. You have to know a lot to fly a plane. What else? Oh, see the wheel button? The wheels make sure you go in for a nice, smooth landing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Whoa, what else is in here? Whoa, all these little numbers look like something you'd see on a telephone. Ooh, and this is the throttle. This is how you can go fast or slow. So you wanna go so fast, you wanna go so slow. <laughs> hmm. Wow. I wonder how long it takes to learn what all of these buttons and controls do. Ooh, ooh, can we just, Get ready here. Are you ready to fly with me? Awesome, let's count down together. Three, two, one, fly! Woo, let's go even faster. Woo-hoo! Here we are on the flight deck. This place is amazing. We're up high, we can see a lot of the New York City skyline, and look at these amazing planes. This is where planes would take off and where they would land, but it's actually not long enough, so they would use a device to catapult planes into the sky. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> Whoa, look at that plane. Oh, I see a helicopter. Oh, they're just hanging out on the flight deck. It's where the planes hang, and they have these beautiful views. <laughs> There's someone on one of the planes. <gasps> You're right. Hi. Hi. Let's go get a closer look. Hey. Hi, come on up. Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika, I'm Jen. Hi, Jen, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what do you do here? 
So I am a museum educator, which means that I teach all kinds of people, students, children, adults coming into the museum. Awesome, so you must know a lot about planes. I do. Well, if I'm in the front here, does that mean that I'm the pilot? You are a pilot, but you are still learning how to be a pilot, so you're technically a student driver. Oh, okay, so then would you be the pilot or the instructor? I would be the instructor, so I would be back here and I could take control of the plane if I needed to. Oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I really like the look of this plane. I love the colors. I can see red and white and blue. Absolutely, the red, white, and blue let other planes know that this is an American airplane. And also the red and white, they're high visibility. So it lets people know that you're still learning how to be a pilot. Oh, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Well, it's so cool that I get to be inside of this airplane. Yeah. <laughs> would you like to go inside of a helicopter? Yes, I would. All right, uh, let's go. Okay, let's go. Wow. This is amazing. Yeah. So this is our Sea Guardian helicopter. It was used by the Coast Guard to help rescue people out in the ocean. Wow, that's super important. Absolutely. And you'll notice here we have pontoons, one Pontoon. here and one on the other side. And then the shape of the front of the helicopter matches that of a boat so yeah. that it can land directly on the water. Whoa, this helicopter can land on water? Absolutely, That's it can. really cool. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. You're also gonna notice that we've got colors. We've got red and white, similar to the Mentor that we were just in. Yeah, I was just gonna say, we were just in a red and white plane. Yeah, so same colors, both so that they can be high visibility so people notice them, but a bit different reasons. The mentor over there is high visibility, so people stay away from you because you're right. learning, new, new learning flyer. to drive. Uh -huh. And this one is high visibility, so that people know to flag you down so that you can help them. Oh, that makes Absolutely. sense. Absolutely. Wow, what a helpful and useful helicopter. Yeah, in fact, the way it helps people, you'll notice the hook right up here. There's a basket inside. We could connect to that hook to lower down into the water. Wow, yeah, let's go see what the basket looks like. Absolutely, come on in. Okay. Wow, look, it looks like a giant basket you would use to get groceries. Yeah, you need it to fit people in there, so it needs to be a big basket. Yeah, it is mm -hmm. really big. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is so cool, thanks for showing me. Yeah, you can see the hole right here that would connect to the hook. Oh yeah. And we even have some floats on either side of the basket to help it float when it drops down into the water. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, before you let me pretend to fly the airplane, did I pretend to fly this helicopter? Absolutely, let's go. <gasps> yes, let's do it! Check out the cockpit in this helicopter! Yeah, all kinds of different controls in here. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I see a lot of circles and buttons and knobs. Absolutely, but the three things that you're gonna use to really steer this, mm -hmm. you have your pedals yeah. down on the floor, okay. just like you would in a car. You have your joystick right here that's oh, going to... You have one too. I have one too. All right. And then you have this control right here, which lifts up and down to help lift the helicopter up and down. Whoa, so you use your feet on the pedals. Mm -hmm. You hold on to this. What did you call it? Joystick. Joystick. And you have this controller too? Absolutely. You're that's doing a lot. lot. <laughs> that seems like a really hard job. It is. It's really complicated. Wow. <laughs> Yep. And then when you want to land, we have landing gear, just like we would on a plane. So that control is oh. right here. Yeah. I'm gonna flip it. it up. Now, you're not always going to have the landing gear down for this one because remember it lands on the water. So oh, we're not gonna right. use our wheels when we're landing on the water. Oh, so we don't even need that? Not all not the time. Not if we're landing not on water. Not if we're landing on water, absolutely. Oh, cool. And then yeah. I've seen this before in a car, parking brake. Yep, so that does help when you're on land to just make sure it doesn't go rolling away anywhere. Oh, very smart. Absolutely. Oh, I feel like an official helicopter flyer. <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> hey, well, we'll see you soon. Jen and I have a big landing coming up. Are you ready? Yeah, let's, let's land do this. this. Yes. Woo! Oh, cool. This looks like a map of the Intrepid. Yeah, you can see the entire length of the ship. It is as long as three football fields lined up end to end. Whoa, that is really, really long. We did some serious walking today. Definitely, a lot of exercise, a lot of steps. Wow, well, I'm gonna keep exploring, but it was so nice meeting you, Jen, and thank you for showing me all of this. Absolutely, it was nice showing you around and have fun. Oh, thanks. See ya. Bye. Let's go. Hey, look behind me. It's the Intrepid. Well, it's a model of the Intrepid made out of Legos. Isn't that cool? 
Let's get a closer look. Whoa, this is amazing. There's so much to look at. Oh, I see people, workers and helpers. You know, you can know what kind of job someone has based off of the color of their uniform. So, oh, like right here, brown. And see, this person's wearing brown too. They are pilots. And, oh, this friend right here in green. <laughs> and there's another one. If you're wearing green, you help direct the planes. You help with takeoff and landing. Whoa. Oh, look at these two. These are two officers. Hello, officer. Hello, officer. Good to see you. <laughs> Old friends. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Oh, hello. <laughs> These two people are wearing purple, one of my favorite colors. They have really cool jobs. They refuel the planes, or they juice up the planes. And because they wear purple and they juice up the planes, they have really cool nicknames. They call them the grapes. <laughs> this is amazing. I wonder what else is here. Let's go find out. Oh, this looks like a comfy, cozy spot. There's three bunks. Do you know who would sleep here? The sailors! Oh, let's try it out. Ah. Whoa. Can you imagine if you're on a bunk bed for three people? You have a friend here, you have a friend down there. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> That'd be such a fun sleepover. Ah. Oh, I bet there's more to go see. Come on. Let's go that way. <laughs> oh, this is the part of the ship for different ways to communicate to other people in ships. Like, here's the other end of the voice tube. Hello. <laughs> oh, and over here, it says Morse code. Let's see, type your name in Morse code. Yeah, did you hear that? It's a way to communicate with other people that are super far away. So, hmm, I'll spell my name. If it's a long line like that, you hold it down. And if it's a dot like that, it's... Okay, so Mika, M, E, E, K, A. H. Nika, if anyone is wondering. <laughs> oh, and this big light is another way to communicate with people on ships super far away. Let's see. Whoa, that's a really bright light. You could probably even see it through a really foggy night. Hello. Check out these red paddles. One, two. They're kind of like ping pong paddles. Well, they're super cool and helpful because it's another way to communicate. Pilots needed to be able to land safely, so they relied on signal landing officers like me. Let's see. Uh, let's try this one. It says, wave off, do not land. Do not land. <laughs> or this one that means, too high, you're too high. Or too low. You're too low, buddy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, here's another way to communicate with signal flags. Let's see. Uh, I want to tell that ship over there, the pizza has been delivered. My work here is done. Oh, something cool over here. Looks like a person wearing a green shirt. Hey, we saw something like this on the model of the Intrepid, do you remember? If someone's wearing a green shirt, they help the planes take off and land. You're doing a great job, smooth landing. <laughs> cool. Oh, there's another one over here. Do you know what color shirt this is? It's white. Yep, this is a landing signal officer. Hey. That's like the one I just did with the red paddles. That was a landing signal officer. Hello, I'm a landing signal officer. I, I don't think they sang, but. Oh, this 
This one is wearing a blue shirt. If you're wearing a blue shirt, you're a plane handler and you move the aircraft around the flight deck. Hi! <laughs> what kind of job would you want to have? They had so many different jobs on the Intrepid. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> what a fun day at the museum! I can't believe that we got to go inside of the Concorde and an airplane and a helicopter. Oh, and do you know what this is? This is the Lockheed A-12. It goes super fast, three times the speed of sound. <laughs> well, I hope you had fun learning with me today. This is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, see you soon. It's me, Mika, and today I'm at the Columbia Memorial Space Center in Downey, California. Can you guess what this is? It's a real capsule. Mm-hmm, and today we're going to be astronauts and create a capsule of our own. Are you ready? Okay, blast them! I'm so excited to be in a shuttle today and be an astronaut. Do you know what an astronaut is? An astronaut is a person that goes up into outer space to study the moon and stars and planets too. I got it. Would you like to be an astronaut with me? <laughs> Great. All right, let me dial Mission Control. Mission Control, it's Commander Meeker here. Mm-hmm, my astronaut buddies and I are ready for takeoff. <gasps> All right, counting down in three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I can see so many stars and planets. I can see Mercury, and Venus, and Earth, and Mars, and Jupiter, Uranus, Saturn, and Neptune. <laughs> wow. <gasps> Did you know the sun is a star? <laughs> I know, so cool. Okay, let's go park and explore. <laughs> wow, check it out. It's a real spacesuit, just like astronauts wear when they go on moonwalks in space. <laughs> it's white with red accents. Oh, and the material is really, really tough to protect astronauts when they're in space. And look at this helmet. This is so astronauts can breathe oxygen out in space. I want to get inside. Come on. Hi, I'm an astronaut. <laughs> wow. Oh, an asteroid. <laughs> I can see so many stars and planets up here. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. I have a flight suit of my own. <laughs> I'm astronaut Mika and I'm ready to explore space. Are you ready? <gasps> vroom, 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 zoom, 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 let's go! <gasps> this is a robotics lab. This is where scientists called engineers code a rover. A rover is a big truck that moves along a planet's surface and takes pictures of rocks and dirt. And the cool thing is it's controlled by a scientist on Earth. That way, they can learn about what a planet is like. Come on, let's go code a rover. Coding the rover means I'm planning out how it'll move on the planet. <laughs> okay, I'm setting up this rover to take lots of pictures of Mars and pick up a rock. Okay, now that it's set, let's place it on the table. <gasps> Whoa, this rover reminds me of an excavator. It picks up rocks instead of dirt, though. Here we go. 
Okay, let's hope the rover picks up this rock. Here we go. Oh, not quite. Let's try again. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> Yay, we did it. We taught the rover how to pick up a rock. Now, scientists can use these rocks to discover different things about the planet, like how big it is, how old it is, and what can survive there. <laughs> cool, let's go. This is where we can build our own capsule, just like Apollo 11. Let's get our supplies. First, we'll need two pieces of black yarn. One, Two. Next, we need a cardboard capsule. Then we need a sheet of tissue paper. Oh, there are lots of different colors in here, but I'm gonna pick yellow, just like my headband. A capsule is a piece of the rocket that the astronauts use to come back to Earth in. We're punching some holes in there. Awesome! Two holes punched in our capsule. Now we'll punch some holes in our tissue paper. One hole. And two. Awesome! Next, we'll take our black yarn and we'll loop it through the holes. Oh, I bet my best friend Blippi and I would have a great time in one of these. <laughs> I love traveling through Face with my best friend. Okay. <laughs> okay, one last step. Take our silver handle and put tape it on top. Now I need two pieces of tape. One. Awesome. <laughs> two. Now we have our capsule and we're ready to launch. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, <gasps> that was awesome. We did it. We did it. We never ever quit it. We did it. Safe landing. That was cool. <laughs> all right, Mission Control, we did it. We went all the way into outer space and now we're safe back on planet Earth. We were really busy exploring space and when it was time to come back to Earth, we landed safely in our parachutes. I just want to thank all the scientists for their hard work. And I especially want to thank my best friend, Blippi, for always believing in me and my mission. <laughs> now let's go see what other things we can make fly through the air. Come on! <gasps> Check it out, an airplane building station. That's right, airplanes fly through the air too. Okay. I'll start with a sheet of paper, and then I'll fold it in half. Paper airplanes help us understand how real airplanes fly through the sky. Oh, look, I just made a triangle. See? <laughs> Triangles have three sides. All right, fold it one more time, and another time on this side. And look, we have an airplane. Whoa! Let's go! Oh, we made it to the launching pad! The shape of the wings is what makes it possible for an airplane to fly. When the wings are flat and then curved at the end, air pressure can sit on top of the plane, which makes it possible to fly through the air. Okay. Let's make sure our launching pad is lined up just right. There we go. 
So we'll put the plane here, and we'll push this green button. In three, two, one. Wow! Look at that airplane go! <laughs> Check it out. I'm in a science lab. Astronauts are scientists too. That's because they do experiments when they're exploring on the moon. An experiment is when you try something new to see what will happen. Sometimes you need a parent or an adult to help you. I've got it. Let's do an experiment and learn together. Will you help me with my ooey gooey experiment? <laughs> Great. Let's start off with a quarter cup of water. Splash. And then we'll add a quarter cup of sticky ooey gooey glue. <laughs> Now we'll have to take our popsicle stick and stir, stir, stir. Stir, 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 stir it up. Stir up that glue. Stir, 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 stir it up. I love to experiment with you. <laughs> okay, we gotta get our glue and water all mixed in. Wow, this is so cool. Okay, we're ready to add our glitter. And guess what? It's my favorite color, purple. Wow, so pretty. Looks very stellar. <laughs> okay, we have our purple glitter, and now we're gonna add a quarter cup of starch. And that'll make it extra, extra sticky. Wow. Do you see it? It's forming in one big lump. Wow. Oh, okay, I think it's almost ready. Oh, I think we're ready to touch it. Ooh, it's so sticky and ooey gooey. <laughs> I've got it. I'll name my slime hmm, Lunar Slime. <laughs> Thank you so much for exploring space with me today. We wore a spacesuit, we coated a rover, and we created our own capsule and watched it float back down to Earth. That was cool. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> All right, see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Triple Play Family Fun Park in Hayden, Idaho. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. <gasps> What's that sound? Oh my goodness, look, it's a dinosaur. Whoa, are you a velociraptor? Whoa, wait, I heard about you. Are you Stanley? Oh, can you show me some fun things to do inside Triple Play? Oh, awesome, come on. Whoa, there's water. Yeah, oh, Stanley, you know those dinosaurs over there? Ah, oh, hi, I'm Mika. <laughs> Whoa, Stanley, you're so nice to show me around. I love dinosaurs. <gasps> we should all act like dinosaurs. Can you help us? Okay, awesome. What's something a dinosaur does? Oh yeah, stop, stop. Stomp, stomp like a dinosaur. Ooh, what's something else dinosaurs do? Oh yeah, they have really big and mighty roars. Let's roar together, ready? Roar! Whoa, Stanley, I don't know if I could roar as loud as you. <laughs> what's something else that dinosaurs do? What, dinosaurs dance? I didn't know that. Let's all dance together. Yeah, you got the 
move, Stanley. Okay. All right. <laughs> Aw, it was so nice meeting you, Stanley. Thanks for showing us how to be dinosaurs and taking us to this really cool space. I'll see you next time, buddy. Bye. <gasps> Whoa. Did you see how big his tail is? Stanley's so cool. I wonder what else is in here. Whoa! This place is really cool. I've never been in a space like this before. There's a huge pool. Whoa! Look at this. It's a raft. Do you know what shape this is? It's a... Circle! <laughs> and do you know what color it is? That's right, it's the color red. Good color. Alrighty, oh! <gasps> Let's get a closer look at Stanley's friends. Come on! Okay, let's sneak up on Stanley's friends. Hello! <laughs> oh, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Mika. Look, can you see their teeth? They have way more teeth than we do. And they're so, so sharp. They're carnivores. That means they like to eat meat. Whoa. These are velociraptors and they run really, really fast on their legs. Whoa, look how big and sharp that talon is. Whoa. Can you imagine if you had those on your toes? <laughs> it would be really hard to wear sneakers if your toenails were like that. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Wow! <laughs> Look at this! It's like a water playground. They call it the Children's Lagoon here. Oh! Look at that yellow slide! That would be so fun because you can land in the water and get all wet. <laughs> wow. Whoa. See how the floor is painted different colors? I see yellow. There's blue. Oh, and all the way back there is red. It makes the water look like it's different colors. <laughs> Whoa. Looks like you can walk up a net, go up the yellow stairs. And there's more water slides. This place is so cool. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, here's another fountain. Wow. There's water all over this. I think you would need a swimsuit to play on that playground. <laughs> Whoa, look over here. Dinosaur footprints. Whoa, do you think Stanley made those or another dinosaur? Hmm. Oh, here's another one. Whoa, look how much bigger it is than my foot. Whoa. Wow. Oh, oh come here. Wow. This is an actual mold of a real dinosaur fossil. Do you know what kind of dinosaur it is? It's a velociraptor. <laughs> We've seen a lot of those today. Whoa, look at its mouth. You can see its sharp teeth in there. Velociraptors lived 150 million years ago. <laughs> Whoa, is it snack? These are the ribs. We have ribs on our sides. <laughs> wow. Whoa, look at the tail. Even the tail has bones in it. Wow. <laughs> Velociraptors are really cool and really ferocious and strong and super fast. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> More dinosaur footprints. Let's see where they take us. Oh, look at this. A crate of objects. Hmm. And we're by a giant pool. <gasps> that only means one thing. We should play sink or float. <laughs> Will you play sink or float with me? Awesome, let's do it. All right, let's 
let's see what we have in the crate. We have a blue bouncy ball. Whoa. <laughs> will it sink or will it float? We won't know until we throw. It's floating. <laughs> and we have a, ooh, a spatula. Maybe you've seen these in your kitchen. You can make pancakes. Ooh. Do you think it will sink or float? Let's see. Whoa! It went to the bottom, but the handle is sticking up. It sunk. All right. Will it sink or will it float? Wow, this is a really cool cup. I love these colors. Oh, I love it. Will it sink or float? Whoa, it floats. Okay, what else do we have in here? Oh, here's a fun truck. Vroom, 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 vroom. Oh, nice and yellow. One of my favorite colors. Huh, I wonder if this will sink or float. Only one way to find out. <laughs> Whoa, look at these. Hello. Whoa, I can see you way clearer now. <laughs> Let's see, will these silly glasses sink or float? It looks like they're sinking. Wow, I totally thought they were going to float. <laughs> All right, what else is in here? Oh yeah, another Velociraptor. <laughs> will you sink or will you float? We won't know until we throw. That dinosaur is definitely floating. All right. Hmm. Whoa, hey, this is a ruler. You can use it to measure things. I wonder if it will sink or float. Whoa. It's sinking. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Should we see if the rest will sink or float and one big dump? <laughs> Let's do it. One, two, three. Whoa. Wow. I see some diving sticks that sunk to the bottom and everything else is floating away. Goodbye. Ha. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> awesome. <gasps> Let's spell it in the pool. Okay, ready? M E E. K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> well, thank you so much for having a good time with me today in this super cool place filled with velociraptors. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika. And today we're at Posh and Petite Playhouse in Woodland Hills, California. <laughs> Did you know this is a place where we can explore and be curious about different jobs? <laughs> I can't wait to try different jobs like an ice cream maker or a firefighter. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Which way should we go? Oh, check out this road. <laughs> Look, it's black with white stripes. Oh, black and white are opposite colors. Opposites mean they're completely different from one another. Kind of like, oh, night and day, or hot and cold. <laughs> oh, check it out. Do you see that horse over there? Oh, let's drive our car over to him. <laughs> Hello, horsey. <laughs> I'm going to name him Popsicle, because I really love Popsicle. <laughs> Can you pretend to be a horse? <gasps> Nay! Whoa! Oh, he's got a lot of horsepower. Let's go! Check 
check it out. It's a marketplace. We can buy healthy fruits and vegetables here and make delicious meals. I know. Let's be a grocer. <laughs> All right, see you later, Popsicle. First, we need our basket. <laughs> oh, wow. Check it out. If we want to be a grocer, we have to get some items to put in our basket so we can ring it up. First, we'll need some alphabet soup. That's healthy and delicious. And how about some peas and carrots? And, ooh, mushrooms too. Check out all these healthy fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are good for your body because they help you grow strong. <laughs> Got it. Let's play a game. Fruit or vegetable? A carrot. It's orange and crunchy, and bunny rabbits love to eat them. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> Do you know if this is a fruit or a vegetable? Oh, that's right, a vegetable. Great job. All right, how about this? It's a cucumber. It's green and it has seeds. Fruits have seeds and vegetables don't. Fruit or vegetable? Oh yeah, that's a tricky one. It's a fruit, even though it seems like it's a vegetable. But great job. Hmm. Oh, yum. A strawberry. Strawberries are really, really sweet. Is a strawberry a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> Awesome! A fruit! One fruit point, please! Hmm, oh, look! A lemon! Lemons are one of my favorite colors. Yellow, and they're really sour. Can you pretend to taste a sour lemon? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, sour is the opposite of sweet! Strawberries are sweet, but lemons are sour. Is this a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> right, a fruit, just like the sweet strawberry. Okay, ooh, check it out, a piece of corn. Mmm, <gasps> that's delicious. Do you know if it's a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> right, a yummy vegetable. All right, let's go check out now. Welcome to Mika's Marketplace. Oh, I see you got corn. And you're in luck, because we have a special on corn. Just one cent. And a lemon. And our sweet strawberry. And a delicious carrot. And alphabet soup. Peas and carrots. Mmm, mushrooms. Wow, you got so many healthy options. <laughs> oh, being a grocer is so much fun. We even got to help a customer take home delicious vegetables to make yummy meals. <laughs> Let's go see what other jobs we can do. Yeehaw! We're at an ice cream shop. I know, let's pretend to be ice cream makers. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Let's go! Welcome to Mika's Magical Ice Cream Parlor. What's that? Fresh baked cookies? <laughs> Coming right up. Look at that, fresh out the oven. Oh, they smell delicious. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve crispy cookies. Let's taste one. Mmm, that's delicious. Would you like a bite? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Mmm, do you know what this is? That's right, a purple popsicle, just like my horse's name. <laughs> Would you like a popsicle? 
<laughs> there you are, one for you and one for me. Oh, that's really cold. Perfect for a hot day. Oh, those are opposites, hot and cold. When I'm cold, oh, it makes me shiver. But when I'm hot, oh, I could sure use a popsicle. <laughs> Would you like some ice cream today? Great, how many scoops? Oh, five scoops? Okay, here we go. One chocolate scoop. Two, a vanilla scoop. Three, mint chocolate chip. Oh, there you go, friend. Perfect. Four, a strawberry scoop. And five, a vanilla scoop on top. Oh, wow, it's stacked up so high. Mm. <laughs> I love being an ice cream maker. I love scooping ice cream and tasting it too. Hey, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> okay, let's see what other jobs we can do. <gasps> oh, don't forget Popsicle. Hello, Popsicle. Are you ready? Are you set? Go! <gasps> wow! Oh, check it out. We're in front of a fire station. A firefighter's job is to put out fires. Do you want to be a firefighter with me? <laughs> awesome. Let's go. This is a cool fire station. Oh, look, a fire truck. It's red and really long, too. <laughs> Let's go park. All right, to the parking lot we go. Oh, and look at these trucks. They're really big. Oh, and these trucks are small. Big and small. Those are opposites. How about this one? Big or small compared to this truck? Pretty small, right? <laughs> but what about compared to this one? Oh, now it's really big. <laughs> Do you hear that? It's a siren. Oh, we gotta get ready to go. Put out a fire. Hello? Yes, fire? On one, two, three, fire road? Oh no, let's go. Grab our hose. <gasps> Firefighter Mika is on the way. Grab my hose and save the day. Oh, awesome. We just put out a fire. Oh, <laughs> that was so much fun. Thanks for helping me. You're very brave. Firefighters are really brave. <laughs> Let's go see what other jobs we can do. Whoa, look, an animal hospital. This is where veterinarians work. Veterinarians are doctors, but for animals. Would you like to be a veterinarian with me? <laughs> awesome, let's go. Oh, look at these doors. A small door for turtles and hamsters and gerbils too, and a medium door for bunny rabbits and ducks. Quack, quack and ferrets and guinea pigs too. And a large door for cats and dogs. Large and small, those are opposites. <laughs> cool. Oh, and look at this door for birdies. Oh, that's another opposite. High and low, low and high. <laughs> Let's pretend to be birds flying to the vet's office. Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> oh, do you hear that? Paging Dr. Mika, you have a patient ready. Okay. Oh, and check it out. Here's our patient. 
Hello, puppy. How are you today? Little scratches, scratches. Did your family bring you here for a checkup? Oh, awesome. All right, let's get started, boy. We have a stethoscope. Stethoscopes are for hearing what's inside of your body, like your heart. <sighs> oh, may I check your heart too? <gasps> Great. Wow, that sounds nice and strong. Okay, let's check puppy's heart. This might be a little cold. <gasps> wow, that sounds so healthy and strong. You must be getting on your daily walks, huh? Don't forget to hydrate, okay? Doctor's orders. <laughs> oh, being a veterinarian is so much fun. I love helping animals and their families too. <laughs> Now that I checked out the whole town, I'm gonna hit the road. Are you ready, Popsicle? <laughs> Let's go! Giddy up! <laughs> Thank you so much for exploring different jobs with me today. <laughs> if I had to choose, I'd be a ice cream maker, grocer, animal doctor, firefighter. <laughs> all at once. <laughs> they were all so much fun, I can't just pick one. <laughs> but you know the best part? Exploring with you, friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <gasps> Great! <laughs> M-E-E K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> okay, friends, see you later. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today, I'm at the El Sereno Community Garden in Los Angeles, California. Here, people come together from the community to practice gardening together. <laughs> oh, I bought some food scraps from home to compost. Have you ever composted before? <laughs> That's sort of like when you recycle to protect our earth. Mm-hmm. And the best part, we get to go digging in the dirt. Ready? Come on, let's go. Whoa, look at these colorful signs. Oh, they're greetings in different languages, welcoming us to the garden. Aw, oh, thank you, signs. It's a pleasure to be here. Check out all these plants. <laughs> there are too many to even count. And look, they're all in the dirt. That's where they get their nutrients, from the soil. Do you know what other nutrients plants need to grow? <gasps> That's right, sunlight and <sighs> fresh air and lots of water. You can water them yourself, or sometimes when it rains, they get plenty of water so you don't have to. <laughs> Oh, plants need lots of space to grow, too. Oh, this garden looks very spacious, which means there's plenty of space for plants to grow. <laughs> okay, friends, let's keep exploring. Hey, I'm Mika, nice to meet you. Hi, Mika, I'm Erica. Welcome to the El Sereno Community Garden in Otsunga, the place of the roses. Nice. In the Tongva language, can you say Otsunga? Otsunga. Nice. <laughs> uh, are you here to compost? Yes, I am. Perfect. I have my eggshells and my avocado and my banana peels. Excellent. <laughs> uh, let me show you Great. Uh, what to do. And on the LA compost method of uh, composting, there's three boxes. You uh -huh. add. Uh, your food scraps here, and then you put a layer of browns, uh, which is dry leaves or mulch, mm -hmm. on top of your kitchen scraps, okay. which are your greens. Mm -hmm. Even though the banana is not green. <laughs> but, no, those but, are yellow. <laughs> <laughs> and so you put greens and browns, greens and browns, and you make sure the brown layer stays on top. Mm -hmm. And then once it gets filled, you move it to the next one, and then you shift it and add water, and then you move it to the next one, and then you shift it, and you add, add water. water. <laughs> and then at the end, it looks like this. Whoa, check it out. 
So the compost pile, when it's ready to sift, mm -hmm. you look, if you look inside, there's bugs and worms and oh. roly polies oh, yes. and everywhere. What do the bugs do? They decompose the soil, the matter, the brown matter, oh. and make it into fertile soil. Mm, decomposing means you break something down. So once it's finished breaking down, uh -huh. we take a handful and we bring it to the sifter. And then the, the sifter, you take out the big brown things that don't fill through the holes. Mm -hmm. And then you keep the worms. If you find any worms, uh -huh. you uh, put them back. Oh, put them back. Hello, Because worm. they're our friends. <laughs> and then we put them back in the soil so they can continue making soil. And the, the one that's sifted that goes through is ready to plant to plant new plants. Oh, awesome. I'm gonna go plant on the other side of the garden. You wanna join me later when you're finished composting? Sure. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Okay, here I go. Our earth is a wonderful host. I love to help her through compost. We'll compost this and we'll compost that with some food and plant scraps. Whoa, awesome. Okay, let's head over to this big pile of dirt. Scoop up some dirt and maybe some worms too. Okay, three, two, one, sift off. Sift, sift, sift. Oh, check out these worms. Did you know earthworms have taste buds all over their bodies? <laughs> Okay. Wow. Let's go find Erica to see if she needs help planting. <gasps> I've got it. Let's wiggle over like a worm. Ready, worms? Here we go. Wiggle, wiggle, squish, squish. Hi, Erica. Hi, Mika. <laughs> what are you planting? I'm planting some hummingbird sage, some narrow leaf milkweed, and some lettuce. Oh, I'd like to help. Yes. Did you bring the compost? Oh, yes. It's right here. Perfect. You're going to need it. <laughs> so you make a hole about the size of the roots and the size of your fist. You take the plant out of the pot and be careful with the roots. Look at that. Oh, look at all those roots. And you plant them nice and gentle in the hole. And then you give a nice warm hug with the compost. There we go, little plant. These are for the pollinators. Oh, I know what that is. That's when certain animals fly from plant to plant. The pollen gets on their body, then they fly to the other plant, and it helps the plants grow. Do you know what kind of animals are pollinators? That's right. Buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> Bees and hummingbirds and butterflies and bats too. That's right, and you wanna know what else is a pollinator? I'll give you a hint. They're red and black. Can you guess what a pollinator is? Ladybug? That's right, look, there's one right here. Oh, look at that ladybug. So sweet. <laughs> Did you know ladybugs are male as well? <laughs> Despite the name, they're male and female. In you go. Thank you. How about here? Now that I'm done planting, I'd like to try something else. Oh, can we harvest? Yes, you can. You can harvest whatever is ready and ripe. Ready and ripe, got it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh. I have a plan. Let's gather up some fruits and vegetables for a salad. Oh, these would be great. Check it out. These are Filipino limes. They're ready when they're yellow instead of green. <laughs> okay, lime, let's go. Here we go. We have two limes. <laughs> Ooh, flowers. Wow, look at this tree. Wonder what it is. Oh, I know. It's guava. 
<laughs> you can tell a fruit is ripe if it falls to the ground. That means we're ready. <laughs> Get some guava for our salad. Mmm, that smells good. Okay, let's find some more food for our salad. Yum! Cocoa plum. Let's pick one for our salad. <laughs> Look, it's so little. And it's one of my favorite colors. Purple. <laughs> Check it out over here. I see another fruit. <laughs> Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's a watermelon. Wow, I've never seen one this small before. This will be delicious in my salad. Ooh, an orange tree. But these oranges aren't quite ready. You know how I know? <laughs> yeah, they're still green, not ripe yet. Okay, oranges, I'll see you later when you're ready. <gasps> Look! <laughs> a really big cactus. This can go into a salad, but no thank you, cacti. I think I'll move on. Yummy! Strawberries. Should we put strawberries in our salad? <laughs> yeah! One strawberry. Two strawberries. Hmm. Oh, check it out. Kale. I would like some of this for my salad, too. <laughs> I know. Let's make a salad for Erica to thank her for showing us this lovely garden. Here we go. Hello, Erica. Hi, Mika. We made you a delicious salad. Yummy, what's in it? We have watermelon and guava and strawberry and kale. Yummy, <laughs> I'm gonna have it for lunch. <laughs> Mika, can you help me with one more thing? Yes, I'm happy to help. I need to spread seeds out uh, so we can uh, harvest some flowers. This is Arroyo Lupin. It's beautiful purple bloom. Mm. Oh, that's one of my favorite colors. Now, when we spread the seeds, we have to sing to them, twinkle, twinkle, little star, because we believe the seeds are the stars of the earth. Oh. Can you help me? Yes. Perfect, roll out your hand. I'm gonna give you some seeds. Thank you. And we'll get seeds and we'll start singing and wishing them love. You ready? Yes. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Whoa, that was Thank so you, fun. Thank you, Thank you. Yes, you're Come so back welcome. anytime. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs> that was awesome. We did a great job composting with those worms, planting in a garden, and harvesting some yummy fruit and vegetables for a salad. What a great, beautiful day. I hope you had fun too. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> okay, friend, see you later. Bye-bye! Hey, it's me, Mika! And today we're at the Kennedy Space Center in Merritt Island, Florida. We are going to explore space shuttles, space rockets, and have so much fun! Will you come with me? Well, let's go! Hey, check it out! A rocket garden! Do you know what a rocket is? It's a vehicle that launches stuff into space so that we can learn about other planets and galaxies and stars. <laughs> hey, will you count the rockets with me? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And do you see the big one laying on its side? Nine, there are nine rockets. Hey, let's get a closer look. 
Come on. Right here, can you see it? It's called the Delta II. Isn't that a cool color blue? Whoa, this rocket has gone to space over 150 times. That's a lot of times. And if you look at the top, you can see the American flag. And if you look even higher, it has a shark face. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? It's a shark rocket. Wow, gone to space a lot. That's a hard working shark rocket. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Come on. Wow, the space shuttle Atlantis. Let's go inside and get a closer look. Come on. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> wow. It's so, so big. This is the Space Shuttle Atlantis. This space shuttle has been to space multiple times. And it's the last space shuttle that's been to space. And we're in the same room with it. How cool is that? Oh, come over here. You see the front part? It kind of looks like an airplane, but it's not a plane. It flies, but it goes all the way to space and it's called the flight deck. Astronauts can sit in there and there's all kinds of buttons and controls so that they can navigate through space. You know what's really cool and what really helps them navigate? Do you see those white holes? It's kind of hard to see. Well, those holes track stars. They're called the star trackers. Have you ever looked up into the night sky and looked at stars? Can you imagine if you looked up and saw a space shuttle? Whoa, that would be amazing. It's so cool to look at. There's a lot of different shapes. I see a red triangle up there. Circles, squares. It kind of looks like a puzzle. Huh. Wow, let's keep going. Whoa, check this out. It's a live video of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. We can get a little more information. Here, let me move it so you can see it a little better. Is that good? All right. Hmm, what should we learn about? Ooh, the mid-deck. What happens in there, I wonder? Oh, this is where the astronauts do their cooking and eating and sleeping. They actually make food and sleep and live on the shuttle just like you do at home. That's so cool. And, oh, the flight deck. Ha, there's some astronauts right there. View features, yes please. Whoa, see, that's inside. You can see the seats where the astronauts sit and there's controllers and buttons and switches so that the commander and the pilot can control and steer the space shuttle. Whoa, I cannot imagine sitting in a space shuttle and not pressing all of those buttons. <laughs> that would be really hard to do. Wow, hey, do you wanna get a closer look of a flight deck? Well, let's blast off and go, ready? Three, two, one. Welcome to the flight deck. Oh, there's a lot to look at, isn't there? Well, the front part is called the forward station. And the back part is called the aft station. And aft means rear, so the back. Oh, I think I'm gonna sit down. Oh, whoa, okay, look at me, I'm Pilot Mika. Pilot Mika, getting ready to go on a mission. Let's go on this flight together. <laughs> Woo! 
Ooh, I can press all of these buttons because it's just pretend it's not real. So let me just get that uh, ADI landing gear, get the nose in place, check the cabin, enable, pin. so one, two, three, power on, power on, power on, power on, power on. Here we go! I can see so many stars! Whoa! Being a pilot of a space shuttle is really fun! <laughs> Whoa, there's more buttons back here! Oh! and make the wings? Well, engineers had to work really hard to figure out how to make wings that would soar into space. This is a delta wing. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> oh, come down here. That says United States. And the United States flag is right there. See, red, white, and blue. Whoa, come look at this. Whoa, do you know what this is? This is a smaller version of the space shuttle Atlantis. See, it's right there. It even says Atlantis under that American flag. So see the orange part in the middle right there? That is the external tank. And that's what holds all of the fuel to help the space shuttle go into space and there's two rockets on the side. Will you count them with me? One, two, two rockets. And these rockets are rocket boosters to help the space shuttle boost into space like this. Three, two, one. <laughs> Let's look over here. Whoa. I bet you've seen these before, but way smaller. Yeah, and they're really big tires. And these tires right here actually went to space. <laughs> See, the picture right here, there's three sets of landing gear on a space shuttle, each with two tires. Learning about space is so fun, come on. how big this telescope is. Have you ever seen a telescope this big before? <laughs> this is the Hubble Space Telescope. Do you know what a telescope is? It's a device that allows you to see things really far away. So, oh, like I can see the Space Shuttle Atlantis way over there. 
but this one is massive. And it's orbited over 300 miles from Earth, allowing us to see images of space. <laughs> In fact, this telescope has sent hundreds of thousands of images of space back to Earth. That way we can see what space looks like. And see these things on the side? They kind of look like wings, but they're solar panels. They attract the sunlight and then turns it into usable energy. This is the coolest telescope I have ever seen. <laughs> I love space. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I'm a space shuttle. <laughs> that was so much fun today learning about space shuttles and space rockets, especially the space shuttle Atlantis. We got to go really close to a real space shuttle that went to space. What an amazing day. Thanks for learning with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Well, I'll see you next time. I'm blasting off. Three, two, one. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. Do you know what's inside of this museum? All different kinds of animals and dinosaurs. And I heard that they have one of my favorite dinosaurs, a T-Rex. Do you know what a T-Rex looks like? I have one in my jam pack. Whoa, here it is. <laughs> hey, will you come with me and see if we can find a T-Rex inside? Let's go! Whoa, I'm inside of the museum. I can't wait to find the T-Rex. Whoa, that is definitely not the T-Rex. Do you know what that is? It's a blue whale. Oh, and look, I see a bandage on that whale. <laughs> Even whales get boo-boos. Did you know that the blue whale is the biggest animal on the planet? It's <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Oh, I see someone over there who works at the museum. I bet they have more whale facts. Come on. Oh, hi. Hello. I'm Mika, what's your name? Alexandra. Hi, Alexandra. So I bet you know something about the blue whale. Yes. You do? What do you do here? I'm an educator. Oh, an educator. So yeah, you definitely know. Um, what do blue whales eat? Blue whales eat tiny krill. Whoa, look at these tiny shrimps. Can you believe a big blue whale likes to eat these tiny little shrimps? <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, do blue whales have teeth like us? No, they don't have teeth. They have baleen. Baleen? Oh, whoa, whales like straw. Can you imagine if you had straw in your mouth instead of teeth? Ugh. <laughs> so how do they eat? They open up their mouth. Okay. Very, very big. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. They take a cup of water. <gasps> put krill in it, mm -hmm. then they push the water out with their tongue, and what's inside? The mm. krill. Mm. Cool, <laughs> that seems really complicated. <laughs> that is not how I eat at all. Wow, and what is that? It looks like a big bone. This is a part of the, well, vertebrae. The vertebrae, well, mm. we have those. You can yeah. feel it in your back. Yeah, can I hold it? Yes, sure. Whoa. Oh, this is so heavy. Look how big this is. Ours are so tiny. Blue whales are huge. <laughs> okay, here, I'll give that back to you. you. Wow, well, thanks for sharing those facts with us. I'm gonna keep exploring, but maybe I'll see you later. See you later. All right, awesome, <laughs> come on. Where is the T-Rex? Where, where is the T-Rex? Whoa. That is not the T-Rex. But it is a very large mammal. Do you know what it is? It's a walrus. Oh, not a real walrus, this is just a model. But this looks pretty much exactly like a real walrus. Whoa, do you see those big tusks? They're made out of ivory and they're really strong and really sharp. And that one looks like the size of my arm, maybe even bigger. Look. Can you imagine if you had something that big hanging out of your mouth? 
could even find a toothpick big enough to clean that thing? <laughs> they can use them when they're in the water to poke into the ice and pull their bodies up. Very helpful. <laughs> Will you act like a walrus with me? Okay, get your tusk out. <clears throat> Let's keep looking for the T-Rex. <clears throat> walrus out. <clears throat> wow, you're so funny. That's why you're my favorite. That is why you are my favorite dinosaur. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm still trying to find the T-Rex, but I don't see any dinosaurs anywhere. <laughs> Let's keep looking over here. Maybe we can find something. <gasps> Whoa, gorillas. <gasps> gorillas are super cool. They're really big, they're really strong, they're hairy. They can stand up tall just like humans. But the male gorilla is 10 times stronger than a human. That's pretty strong. <laughs> Will you act like a gorilla with me? All right, let me see your muscles. <laughs> Pound your chest. <laughs> Let's keep looking for more animals. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, I feel strong just acting like a gorilla. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. See in the back there? A giraffe. Giraffes are so tall. They can get up to 18 feet tall. That's really, 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 really tall. And they have super long black tongues. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Do you know what that animal is? That's right, a zebra. Zebras are awesome. They have black and white stripes and a group of zebras is called a dazzle. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Check out that dazzle of zebra over there. <laughs> they run super fast and they can run in zigzags. Will you zigzag with me? All right, let's go. Run in zigzag. <laughs> Whoa, elephants are so big, so they have to eat a lot of food. Actually, most of their day is filled with eating. They're herbivores, so they're vegetarians. They don't eat meat. Wow, and look, big tusks, just like those walruses. <laughs> hey, will you act like an elephant with me? Get your trunk out. Ready? <laughs> Maybe you can stomp like an elephant. <laughs> hey, these really big cats are lions. I love lions because they have really big roars. Kind of like the T-Rex. <laughs> See that one with the mane, all of the hair? That's a male lion. That's how you know, because it has a mane. The other lions that don't have manes are females. And a group of lions is called a pride. <laughs> I still don't see any dinosaurs though. Will you keep looking with me? All right, come on. <gasps> wow, we're in the dinosaur room. There has to be a T-Rex here, right? <sighs> that means yes. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Oh, there's a dinosaur over there. Ah, long tail, lots of teeth, but that's pretty small. A T-Rex is way bigger than that dinosaur. It's almost as little as this toy dinosaur. Hello. <laughs> hmm. Oh, look at this dinosaur. Whoa, it has a long neck. Its head is going back really far. Oh, I wonder if it's a dancing. <laughs> nice moves. But not a T-Rex. Hmm. I can't see the T-Rex anywhere. Do you see a T-Rex? Looks like this, big head, so many teeth, really big talons. <sighs> it's right there, the T-Rex, my favorite dinosaur. <gasps> Whoa, look how big the head is. See those big jaws with tons of teeth? Wow, they're so sharp and there's so many of them. Did you know that the T-Rex could have up to 50 to 60 teeth in its mouth? 
That's a lot of teeth. <laughs> Whoa, you can see the whole body of the T-Rex. The head, the ribs, the big legs, the big feet. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Mika, what's your name? Hi, my name is Alana. Hi, Alana, what do you do here? I'm a museum educator. Whoa, a museum educator, so you must know a lot about dinosaurs. I do. Oh, cool, well, I'm really excited because my favorite dinosaur is the T-Rex. I really like the T-Rex also. Oh yeah? Well, yeah, what's one of the reasons you love the T-Rex? I like the T-Rex because it was one of the biggest predators. Wow, I know. It's very cool. The T-Rex is huge, has a really big head and legs and a really big tail. You know, they use that big tail to help them balance. Oh yeah, that's right, because their heads are really heavy, right? Really big heads. Yeah, so the tail helps them balance. Like that. You know what else I like about the T-Rex? What? Look at this big foot here. Whoa, is this a real foot of a T-Rex? This is a model. Okay, okay. But this is like an exact replica. Yeah, you can see how big it was. Whoa, am I allowed to touch it? You can touch it. Okay. Wow, look at these toenails. <laughs> They're so big and pointy. So they had three big toes uh -huh. on their back foot. You know what else I like about the T-Rex? What? How big their teeth were. Oh yeah, they have really big teeth. Look at this. <gasps> Whoa. Look how big this tooth is. This is a model of a real T-Rex tooth. Wow, can you imagine if your teeth were this big? Look, is it the same? <laughs> That's really big. What do you think they might have liked to eat with a tooth this big? Oh, probably meat, yeah. right? They were carnivores. Oh, so they were meat eaters. Cool, right. and what's this? It looks like a big rock. It is a rock, except it's a very special rock. Oh, why? This is a fossil of a dinosaur bone. A real dinosaur a bone? A real dinosaur bone. Would you like to touch it? Yes, please. It's heavy. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see. Okay, all right, it's a little heavy, but it's a real fossil of a dinosaur bone. That's amazing. And what part of the dinosaur is this? That was from their leg or their thigh bone. Oh, so like <laughs> down here. Right there. Wow, that's amazing. Thanks for sharing this with me. Yeah. So is the T-Rex the biggest dinosaur? It wasn't the biggest dinosaur, but this museum has a model of one of the biggest dinosaurs. What, can we see it? You wanna go see it? Yeah. Let's go. All right, come on. Wow. Whoa, it's so big. Whoa. It keeps going and going and going. This is called a titanosaur. Titanosaur, wow, it's really cool. So the titanosaur family was a group of dinosaurs that were sauropods and herbivores. Oh, I know what a sauropod is. That means it walked on four feet. That's right. Ooh. <laughs> and an herbivore means that it was a plant eater. That's right. Yeah, very neat. Now this titanosaur is over 120 feet long. Whoa. Or 37 meters, <laughs> that's and, really long. And it weighed almost as much as 10 elephants. Whoa, 10 elephants, that's very, very heavy. Wow. But you know what's cool about this one? This one was just a juvenile, which means it's kind of like a teenager. Whoa, so it's not even fully grown? It gets bigger than this? It does. Wow, that's incredible. Thank you so much for showing me this, showing me this titanosaur. I had fun with you. I have to go teach a class. Oh, but I'll see you soon. Okay, see ya, thanks again. Wow, what a fun day. We got to see so many cool animals like the big blue whale and walruses and lions and we got to see my favorite dinosaur of all time, the T-Rex. <laughs> Did you have a fun day? <laughs> Me too. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna have more fun and see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> all right, we'll see you next time. <sighs> It's me, Mika, and today I'm at Billy Bee's in Anaheim, California.
California. My best friend Blippi has been here a few times and said it's so much fun. So I thought I would come here and see for myself. <laughs> I have my compass watch and my jam pack, so I'm ready for any kind of adventure. Come on. Oh. Ah, it's a note to me, dear Mika. <laughs> And it's from Blippi. Oh, <laughs> let's read it. I'm so excited that you are going to Billy B's. You're going to have an amazing time. I've put some things in your jam pack for you to play with throughout the day. You just have to figure out where to use them. Have fun. Oh, you put things in my jam pack? Let's see. Oh, there's a, hmm. <laughs> a chef's hat. Okay. Carrot seeds? Huh. And colorful ribbon. Interesting. <laughs> I wonder what I'm going to use these items for. Well, only one way to find out. Oh, cool. And Billy Bee's socks. Let's play. Honeycomb Village? <laughs> Sounds fun. Let's go. Oh, cool. <laughs> Hey, look at this, a garden. Ooh, I love gardens because that means there's delicious fruits and vegetables here and I love to eat. All right, let's see what's in this garden. Ooh, corn on the cob. Mmm, delicious. Ooh, onions, two onions. One, two, yummy. Oh, do you know what these are? It's a root vegetable. That's right, potatoes. One, two. Oh, and I see a big potato right here. Yummy. Oh, this is getting me hungry. There's even strawberries in this garden. One, two. <laughs> Wait a second. Wasn't there something in my jam pack that belonged in a garden? Yeah, I think there was. Carrot seeds. Oh, this will go perfect in the garden. I can just, let's make some room, excuse me, food, excuse me, and put some carrot seeds in there. And you need nutritious soil, and some water, and some beautiful sunshine, and then a fruit or vegetable will grow. Ooh, I can't wait to see these carrots grow. <laughs> Hmm, maybe I'll take a snack for the road. Hmm, maybe I'll find a yellow snack. Like a huh, banana. That's a nice, healthy fruit filled with potassium. Hmm, let's go. <laughs> Did you ever notice that a banana kind of looks like a phone? Hello? Hello, Mika. Yeah, it's me, Mika. How are you? Good. What are you up oh, to? I didn't even know that this was charged up. Yeah, hi. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I got to go. I'm playing with my friends. Bye-bye. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, I better finish eating this banana. Hmm. <laughs> Peeling and... Mmm. Pretty good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Put the peel right here in the trash. Oh, and look, it's like we're in a little house. <laughs> Welcome to my home. Let's see what we have here. <gasps> ice cream in the freezer. And there's two ice cream cones. One, two. One for me and one for you. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, and the refrigerator's on the bottom. I wonder if there's any treats in there. No treats. Looks like somebody needs to go grocery shopping. <laughs> oh, whoa. There's food over here. Look at these two baskets of food. Hmm, we should make something. What should we make? See a lot of bread and cheese and let's make a sandwich. Okay, let's see. What do we have? What do we have in this basket? We have bread. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We have burgers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We have cheese. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we have tomatoes, please. Let's stack it. Let's stack it. Come on, we're gonna snack it. <laughs> Check it out. 
burger. Cheese, tomato. Ooh. It's gonna be messy, but it's gonna be yummy. Mmm. <laughs> Tasty. What else is in here? Oh, a really tiny soda. Oh. <sighs> nice and refreshed. <laughs> Whoa, look at this cool sink. Oh, looks like there's some dirty dishes here. Ooh. Ooh, we really need to clean this spatula. So, oh, here's a sponge. Get a little soap on there and some water. Time to clean. <laughs> there we go. Hey, when you're playing, it's always best to clean up if you make a mess. <laughs> Whoa, okay, let's get some water on here and <gasps> good as new. So clean. <laughs> I wonder what else is here. Let's go. Whoa, a pizzeria. Let's go inside. <gasps> wow, look, pizza. Ooh, I love pizza so much. Hmm, isn't there something in my jam pack that belonged in a restaurant? Let's take a look. Oh yeah, a chef's hat. Okay, if I put it on, I can be a chef. Chef Mika, welcome to my pizzeria. Okay, let's see, we have a pizza ready. Let me get one of these trays here and let me just slide that on here. Ooh, good thing it's pretender, that would be really hot. <laughs> okay, let's put it together to make a nice circle for the pizza. Okay, who ordered the mushroom, tomato, cheese, and green sprinkle pizza? Oh, you? Oh, well, it's ready. Let's go to the register so you can pay. Okay. Let's see, you've got the cheese and the tomatoes and the mushrooms and the green sprinkles. I'm gonna give it to you for free. The sprinkles are on the house. Okay, that'll be one million dollars, please. Whoa, thank you. Okay, Whoop. there you go. And here's your change. <laughs> All right, here's your pizza. Enjoy. Actually, pizza sounds pretty good right now. And, oh, yes, I'm due for my lunch break. Okay. Whew. And that pizza special that you ordered looked really good. So I think I'm going to have the same thing. <gasps> and there's one ready for me right over there. Ah, oh, it looks so yummy. Hey, will you count the pizza slices with me? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, six yummy slices just for me. Ooh, and pizza's so fun because you can eat it with your hands. <laughs> All right, let's see, maybe I'll put some, a little pepper on there, just a little bit. And ooh, some salt. <laughs> Ooh, hot sauce. I love spicy food. Okay, actually. <laughs> oh, that looks really yummy. Okay, here we go. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's too hot. It's too hot. Ooh. Okay. I thought I could handle it. I cannot. That's okay. We'll just leave it there for a second. Maybe I'll come back to it when I'm feeling a little better. <laughs> Let's see what else is here. Come on. Whoa, look at this really colorful place that we can play in. Come on. Ooh, these are fun steps. Look, the color green. And this step's the color blue. And this is the color Green, and this is orange, and blue, and green. Hey, there's a slide over there. Will you meet me at the bottom? All right, see you soon. Oh, I can't wait to go down the slide. Three, two, one, whoa! <laughs> that was 
goes really fast. Hey, there's something super colorful over there. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa, check out the rainbow slides. <gasps> that must be where I'm supposed to use the rainbow ribbon. <laughs> Did you see that? There's so many different colors. And it looks like there's a ribbon for each slide. <laughs> Guess I have to go down every single slide. Are you ready? I'll meet you at the bottom. See ya. Whoa! Blue! Light blue. <laughs> Here I come. Green. <laughs> Yellow. <laughs> Orange. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Red. <laughs> hey, we did it. We figured out where to use the items that Flippy put in my jam pack. We got to plant carrot seeds. And oh, I wore the chef's hat when I made pizza in the pizzeria. And the rainbow ribbons led us to these really cool rainbow slides. Oh, it was so much fun playing with you. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. <laughs> Mika. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, it's me, Mika, and today we are at Southern Hill Farms in Claremont, Florida. This farm is so cool because they grow flowers and they grow fruit. So today I want to pick some blueberries, make blueberry lemonade, and find some beautiful sunflowers. I love sunflowers because they're yellow, one of my favorite colors. Come with me. that you can use to collect the blueberries in once they're picked. <laughs> That's so fun. Oh, come down here, look at this. <laughs> Have you ever seen sand on a farm before? <laughs> yeah, you might not expect sand at a farm, but this sand that's really soft and fine, it's called sugar sand, and it's really helpful for the blueberries. With this sand, the water can drain quickly, which is super important because blueberries do not grow in a lot of water. So this sand's really fun to play with and touch, but it's really important for the blueberries. So I'll just leave that there. <laughs> do you want to pick blueberries with me? Let's go. Take a look at this. It's a blueberry bush or a shrub. Here, come a little closer. See, there's, oops. <laughs> a stem, and the leaves, and look, the fruit, the best part. <laughs> so see how some of these berries, they're different colors. There's kind of a purple, a blue, and a green. Do you know which berry is ripe? <laughs> That's right, this one, the blue one. Those are the ones that you wanna pick. And ripe means that it's fully grown and ready to eat. <laughs> They're so cute. I know, we could pick 20 ripe blueberries. Will you count with me? Cool. So we have one. Hmm. Oh, here's another one. Two. Ooh, there's one down here. Three, four, Oh 
almost there. 17. 18. 19. 20. 20 ripe blueberries. Thanks for counting with me. See, you can pick them off of the bush or you can pick them up off the ground as long as they're nice, blue, and ripe. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be really good in my blueberry lemonade. You can do all sorts of things with blueberries. What do you like to do with blueberries? You could make jam or jelly for a blueberry and peanut butter sandwich, or you can make a smoothie, blueberry pancakes, cupcakes, parfaits, juice. There's so much you can do with blueberries. <sighs> Should we keep looking at blueberries? All right, cool. Let's go over there, there's more. <gasps> wow, look! It's a baby blueberry shrub. See, it's much smaller than the other plants we saw, but one day it's gonna grow nice and big and full and have a ton of blueberries on it. You'll notice on the young plants, they have little flowers, see? <laughs> so cute. Oh, I see another ripe blueberry. Here, take a look. See how it kind of looks white on the outside? That's called bloom. And bloom is like a sunblock for blueberries. It protects it against the sun so the blueberries don't get too much sun. Check it out, a really big yellow slide. Oh, I have to go down. Let me put my blueberries down so I don't spill any and I'm nice and safe. Come on. Whoa, I get it. You use the potato sack to go down the slide. See, you put your feet in here in the bottom, get situated and then you woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Oh, uh, look at this. You must be this tall to ride alone. All others must ride with an adult. All right, let's see. Uh, I think I'm tall enough to ride alone. <laughs> let's check it out. Hey, whoa, it's really high up. This is quite the climb. This slide is gonna be awesome! Look how high we are! You can see the entire farm! <laughs> okay, only slide feet first. Okay, that was my plan anyway. All right, so you lay your potato sack down like this. You sit down and feet first. Feet will go in this little pocket here. <gasps> okay. You wanna watch me slide all the way down to the bottom? All right, see you there. <laughs> Three, two, one, slide! Woo! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that was so fast, that was awesome. <laughs> all right, let's put this over here. And <gasps> my blueberries! Oh, there they are. All right, come on, blueberries. And you come too, there's more fun things to do. Oh, check it out, it's a carousel. Have you ever been on a carousel before? <laughs> well, let's go. Blueberries down and go for a ride. Hmm. Oh, I love this horse. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this yellow hair. Oh, one of my favorite colors. All right, I'm ready, horse. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, on the other side. Wait till it gets to a complete stop. 
before you get off the horse. That's the safest thing to do. And we're stuck. <laughs> that was so fun. Let's see what else we can find here. Wow, this is a huge jumping pillow. <laughs> Come on, let's see. Whoa, super bouncy. <laughs> Whoa, this is so fun. <gasps> can you imagine if this was really a pillow? Oh, <laughs> good night. Uh, uh. <laughs> Whoa, let's see, what can I do on here? Whoa, I can do one of my all-time favorite things, a cartwheel. Ready? Woohoo! Oh, I can also do a round off. <laughs> Whoa, hey! You can jump with me. What's one of your favorite jumps? You can do this. Woohoo! You could do it on the other side. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so excited to make blueberry lemonade. I already made a lot of lemonade right here. To make lemonade, you need lemons and you need sugar to make it sweet because lemons are pretty sour and you need some water. But I think we need one more lemon to go into this lemonade. So let me cut one here. I'll show you how you get the juice out. And remember, only grown-ups should be using knives. Okay, so cut this in half, like that, and this is a juicer. I'm gonna add that to the picture that I already made before. Yum! Okay, and my favorite part, we have some juice from the blueberries that you helped me pick earlier. We washed the blueberries and we juiced them and now I have some yummy blueberry juice to add to this lemonade. All right. Whoa, <laughs> isn't that such a pretty color? All right, now we'll take a spoon and stir it up. Mmm, smells sweet and fruity. Hey, okay, think that's pretty good. And I have a cup here so I can taste it. I have to make sure it tastes good. All right, whoops. <laughs> and, oh, I should add some extra blueberries to make it really special. Mmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's really, really tasty. Oh, I love blueberries so much. Okay, so, I picked blueberries, I made blueberry lemonade, What's the other thing that I wanted to do? <gasps> Find sunflowers, that's right. I wonder if there are sunflowers around here. I have these binoculars. They'll help me look a little closer. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Where are the sun? <gasps> I see sunflowers down there. Let's get a closer look. Come on. Found the sunflowers. Oh, there's a really big one down here. Wow, it's so pretty. See, the inside looks like the sun and the petals all around look like sun rays. Isn't that cool? Like a big, beautiful sunshine. And speaking of sunshine, did you know that sunflowers are attracted to the sun? So if the sun is shining over here, a sunflower will look like this. <laughs> and if the sun is shining over there, the sunflower will look like this. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, they're so beautiful. So I think
think we did everything that we planned. Let's see. We picked blueberries, we made blueberry lemonade, and we found sunflowers. <laughs> we did it. Thank you for your help. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the gingerbread factory in Leavenworth, Washington. This place is so cool because they're known for making gingerbread. Have you ever had a gingerbread cookie before? Oh, they're so yummy. And I love it when they have icing on them. I wanna know how icing is made and I bet I can find out in here. Come on. <gasps> Whoa, look at all of these delicious looking desserts. Hmm, but that's not the icing I'm talking about. Oh, look at these cookies, yum. But they don't have any icing on them. Hmm, let's keep it. Whoa, <laughs> look how big that cinnamon roll is. Ooh, and that has yummy icing on it. And these cookies, they're shaped like hearts. Oh, they're so cute. I really like this pink one with rainbow sprinkles. That's the kind of icing I wanna make. <laughs> Hello. Hello there. I'm Mika, what's your name? I'm Ashley. Oh, nice to meet you, Ashley. You too. Are you a baker? I sure am. Oh, so I bet you know how to make icing. The sugary good stuff? Yes, that's my favorite. I sure do, do you want to know how to? Yes, please. All right, come with me. Oh, awesome, let's go. I'm so excited. Okay. So before we get to creating in the kitchen, we've got to wash our hands. Oh yeah, okay. let's get our hands clean. So excited to make icing. Okay, so first things first, get some soap. Wash my hands. It's important to have clean hands when you're baking or cooking so you don't get any germs in the ingredients. Keep everything nice and clean. All right. Whoa, that's a lot of I don't know what. <laughs> yeah, so friend, this is 10 pounds powdered sugar, the first ingredient to making icing. That's a ton of sugar. Yeah. Do you want to dump it in the bowl so we can get started? Oh, sure. Okay. Oh, do I need to wear anything special? Oh, you're so right. We're going to have our apron. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay. This way we can keep all of the messes off of our clothes. Mm, so right. Okay. So the first thing is gonna be the powdered sugar in this big bowl. Oh yeah. Okay. Whoa. Oh, it's heavy. Good Whoa. job. Looks like snow. Whoa. <laughs> Perfect. Look at this. Yeah. Now it's snowing in the kitchen. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, there's still some more. There's some more. Mm-hmm. All right. Oof, sorry for the mess, Ashley. Oh, you look great. <laughs> the next ingredient is meringue powder. Whoa, what is that for? That's to make the sugar whip together into icing. Whoa, okay. Maybe this will make such a big mess. Mm. Oh no, that was much better. Yeah. <laughs> Last but not least, we need the water to liquefy it. Oh, okay, the whole thing? The whole thing. Some water. Yeah. This is gonna make a lot of icing. Mm-hmm. And so I don't have a poof on me. <laughs> We're gonna have you mix that up till it's nice and liquidy. Whoa! You need some big muscles to mix all this icing together. <laughs> Oh, I can smell it. It smells really sweet. Mm hmm Round and round, get all the ingredients together. Okay, is that good? I think that's looking pretty good. Okay. All right. <laughs> Want to give that a little ting-ting? Okay, a little... A couple of tings. Uh -huh. <laughs> Two more. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to put this guy 
onto our lovely machine and we're gonna get to mixing until it's nice and wet. Wow, okay. Yeah. Wow. This machine is so cool. And so helpful. Yeah, it's gonna mix everything together to make a really nice, smooth icing. Mm-hmm. Because grandma's before had to do it all by hand. Wow. One, two, three. Whoa! It's so cool! Come look! Woo! <laughs> okay, I cleaned up a little bit. Now I'm really ready to make some icing. Just in time, it just got done. Oh, yes! Yeah, so actually you want to learn how to make a decorating comb? Yeah, that sounds so cool! All right, awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. So we got this bowl. Okay. All right, and there's a spoon already in there. Do you want to scoop Ooh. a couple of heaping spoonfuls Ooh, out? Heaping, heaping. Yeah. That means big. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Look at that. Some more in there. Mm -hmm. Wow, we need a lot of icing. Okay. Whoa. Perfect. Nice and fluffy. Mm -hmm. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Okay. So next, you're going to take one of these bags. Okay. And you're going to fold it so we can hold it without getting our hands fold dirty. Fold it so you can hold it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now what? Perfect. You're going to hold it just like a cup. And here's your tip. Oh, thank you. This is what helps us push the icing through. Oh. And we're gonna slide it right on in, all right. the way to the bottom. That perfect. Now you're gonna take your spoon and just put a couple of spoonfuls in there. <laughs> Not right. too much. Oh no, I'm gonna get messy again. It's okay. It's fun to get messy. Woo! <laughs> all right. Nice catch. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Should I start squeezing it down? Push it down just a little. Push it down just a little. With it still folded? Fold it up. Okay. Fold it up. Yeah. Perfect. I'm gonna steal some too, so we're on the same page. Push it down. Yeah. See it? And I'm gonna do just a little. How's oh, that? You did great. Yeah. So to make sure it doesn't all come out the top, mm -hmm. we have these lovely little clips. Oh, yeah. so you can fold it down. Fold it up. Fold it up. And around. Oh. Yeah, and then we push down. Push, push, push. Oh, perfect. Okay. Here's your lovely little clip. Thank you. Here's my lovely little clip, and we clip it on. Awesome, we're ready That's... to decorate now. All right, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah. Look at all of this. I see candy. We could decorate with candy. And oh, there's so many different kinds of cookies. Wow, look at this. A little person. It's so cute. And oh, do you know what color this is? It's one of my favorites. Purple. It's a purple rectangle. And oh, look at this really bright circle. It's orange. <laughs> Ooh, and here's one of my other favorite colors. Do you know what it is? Yellow. Nice. Kind of looks like a sunshine. And a blue square. Look at that. These colors are so bright and cool. And there's little circles. Look, they can be eyeballs. Hello. <laughs> All right, what should I decorate first? Hmm. Ashley, what do you think? Oh, well, if you don't want to use white, I made all these extra colors for you. You did? I did. Wow. I see purple and yellow yeah. and blue. Wow. Okay, let's see. I think I'm going to make a little person. <laughs> Maybe I'll use purple because I love it so much. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna do a purple shirt. And yellow 
pan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's so cute. And maybe some white curly hair. <laughs> and let's see. I'm gonna do a blue face. Eyes and a smile. <laughs> it kind of looks like my grandma. <laughs> Yummy. Woo. And maybe I'll decorate this one with a big yellow. See if you know what this is. letter M for Mika. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. And it really makes it easier to decorate in these bags. Makes it easier to write things. <laughs> Look at that funny cookie. You know who this is? Huh? <laughs> That's right, it's me, Mika! <laughs> this is so much fun decorating these cookies. Oh, hey, hey Ashley! Hey friend. Hey. How'd you like decorating today? Oh, I love it, it's so much fun. And I made you a little something. Oh. I'm getting pretty good at decorating. Do you know who this is? It's you. That's right, and I made it just for you. Wow, thank you. You're welcome, and I also made, do you know? It's Blippi. <laughs> That's right, my best friend Blippi. I made this for you too. <gasps> thank you so much. Well, thank you oh. so much for teaching me how to make icing. Anytime, friend. Oh, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> wow, this has been so cool learning how to make icing and how to decorate cookies. Look, hello, hello, we're best friends. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great, M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, we'll see you soon, bye. Bye-bye. And today I'm at Sky Zone Trampoline Park in Anaheim, California. And I'm so excited because guess what's inside? Trampolines! Have you ever been on a trampoline before? They're so fun, you can jump and bounce really, really high. Have you ever wondered what makes something bounce? <laughs> Me too. Let's go inside and find out. Come on. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm Mika. I'm Quincy, it's nice to meet you, Mika. Hey Quincy, nice to meet you too. Ah, so what can I do for you today, Mika? Well, I really want to play on some things that are bouncy and I hear there are a lot of trampolines here. Oh, we have so many trampolines here today. Nice. But first, we have to pick from an assortment of wristbands. Whoa, look at all of these colors. I see orange, green, yellow, red, blue and pink. Hmm, I think I'm gonna choose the yellow one. It's mm -hmm. one of my favorite colors. I got you right here, Mika. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> what else do I need? And next you get to pick between these two socks right here. Whoa, check out these socks. They have grips on the bottom. Why are there grips on these socks? There's grips on the socks just to prevent you from slipping on the bouncy trampolines. Oh, good idea. Oh, and there's also blue and black and pink socks. I think I'm gonna go with the orange. These are super cool. So I have my wristband and my socks, and I know that there are trampolines here, but is there anything else that you have that's really bouncy? It's funny that you ask. I got a whole picture of bouncy balls right here. Whoa! 
This will be the perfect way to experiment with why and how things bounce. Thanks, yes, Quincy. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it's so much fun to bounce. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Have you ever bounced on a trampoline before? It's so fun. And check this out. If you push down on a trampoline like this, see how it goes down? But if you don't do anything, it goes back to being flat. That's called elasticity. <laughs> and that's what makes it so fun to bounce on a trampoline. <laughs> wow, let's check out all of these different kinds of balls and see how they bounce. All right, let's see, we have a squishy orange ball here. Whoa! And look at this one. It's orange too, but it's smaller. Kind of looks like a ball pit ball. Oh, it's nice and light. I wonder how this one bounces. Oh, see ya! <laughs> Ooh, I love these. They're bouncy balls. <laughs> this is a nice green. Okay, ready? Oh, yeah, let me try again. <laughs> Here's another bouncy ball. Whoa! Nice job, bouncy ball! <laughs> Let's see what happens if we bounce the balls and I bounce at the same time! Woo! <laughs> hey! This woo, seems like a really fun space to play a game where you can bounce and throw these balls. Huh. If only I had some friends to play a game with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey! Do you want to play a game with me? I would love to, Mika. Oh, awesome! But I got a friend with me as well. Oh, hey! This is Priscilla. Hi. Hi, Priscilla. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. So, do you want to play a little catch on these trampolines I and with these bouncy balls? I would love to play some catch, Mika. Okay. Yeah, me too. Oh, let's do it. Everyone grab a ball. Get one over here. Oh, I know. What if we threw and caught the ball? So we can throw to each other and catch at the same time. I Makes like sense? That. I like that idea. I like okay, that. let's count to three. All right, ready? One, two, three. Whoa, we did it, nice. Can you do it again? Yes. All right, one, two, three. <laughs> awesome. One, two, three. Nice! Awesome. Ooh, I'm feeling nice and warm now. Me too. Whoa, what else can we play? We could play dodgeball. Ooh, dodgeball. How do you play dodgeball? Dodgeball is very simple. Hit or be hit. Ooh, hit or be hit. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Don't be nervous. It's real simple. All you got to do is duck, dodge, and throw the ball. Oh, I got you. That okay, so we're going to try and throw the ball to hit the other people, but you don't want to get hit. You want to dodge and get out of the way, right? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> I'm feeling ready. Are you? I think so. I hope you're ready. <laughs> All right. Let's go.
for playing games with me. Oh, of course, Mika. Thank you for having us. Yeah, this was so fun. So much fun. <laughs> Woo! See you later. So we learned that things bounce because of elasticity. Woo! And it's really important to get our bodies warmed up and stretched really good so we can be stretchy and bendy like elastic so we don't get hurt. And I really want to try an obstacle course. So can you help me stretch and move my body so I can get warmed up and ready to go? Yes, of course. Let's okay. get ready for this obstacle course. Yes. Okay. Alrighty, so the first exercise we're going to do, we're going to put our arms like this. Okay. And we're going to do a nice twist. Nice twist. All right, we're gonna switch arms again. Okay. Another big twist. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna reach for the floor. Whoa. Whoa. And we're gonna hold it for three seconds. All right, one, one two, two, three. Perfect. <laughs> Another big stretch. Whoa. Ready? One, one two, two, three. Perfect. Do you have Ooh. any other stretches that we could do? Hmm. Yeah, how about we grab our foot you have to have really good balance and stretch your leg Ooh. that way. All right. Or like Ooh. flamingos. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, try your other foot. All right, the other one. Whoa, okay. It's a little wobbly on this Whoa. one. Whoa. Okay, perfect. Ooh, my legs feel nice and warm. Ready? My arms are stretched out. I think I'm ready for the obstacle course. All right, perfect. I hope you have fun. Thank you so much. All right. See you soon. See ya.
It's me, Nika. And look, today I'm at Kinderland Indoor Play and Cafe in Las Vegas, Nevada. And they have so many fun and colorful things for us to play with here. They have lots of shapes, lots of trucks and trains and vehicles, and a big slide. And today I brought a special vehicle with me to find a place to drive it around. Look, a choo-choo train. Chugga, 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 choo, choo, choo. <laughs> Come on, let's go see what they have in here. Wow, look how colorful this room is. And hey, there are so many vehicles to play with. Oh, but first, I wanna check out these shapes. One, two, three, four. Are you ready to explore? Great, let's go. There are so many shapes here. Look at this one. <laughs> it kind of looks like a telephone. Bring, bring. Hello, it's me, Mika. <laughs> and check out this one. Do you know what shape this is? That's right. It's a rectangle, a yellow rectangle. <laughs> oh, and check it out. It has another color too. Do you know what color this is? That's right, it's purple, just like grapes. And one of my favorite colors. Ooh, let's keep looking at all these shapes. Oh, check it out, a triangle. Triangles have three sides. And this one is blue, just like the ocean waves. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this great shape. Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> yeah, a circle, a yellow circle. Whoa, this looks just like the sun shining bright in the sky. <laughs> and do you know what this color is? <laughs> yeah, red. Whoa, this shape is pretty interesting. Do you know what it's called? <laughs> yeah, a semicircle. And if you take two semicircles, guess what you can make? <gasps> a full circle! <laughs> wow! A full circle made out of one semicircle and another one. Hey, I have a great idea. Let's make a bridge and drive our train over it. Hmm, how do I start? Oh, I'll use this big cylinder first. And I'll put this one beside it. Wow, these shapes are really soft. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, oh yeah, this will be a perfect bridge. <laughs> wow, doesn't that look like such a great bridge? <laughs> yeah, I have to go get my train over there. I know, let's go under the bridge and go get our train. Here you are, little train. Let's drive over. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. Okay, let's see if our bridge works. Ready, set, go! Oh, wow, look at it go! Shoo. Wow, we made it all the way to the other side. I know. Let's pretend to be different cars. Hmm. This car is really, really fast. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> yeah, a race car. Let's pretend to be fast race cars. <laughs> Whoa, that was really speedy. <gasps> oh, let's be an excavator. Okay, get your arm. We have to pick up some shapes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, I'm moving dirt. <laughs> hmm, let's be a bulldozer now and knock down our bridge. <laughs> that was so much fun. Now that we knocked our bridge over, we have to find some more places to drive our train. 
Are you ready? Set, go! Vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> Whoa! Look at these tracks. They're medium-sized tracks. That means they're not too big and they're not too small. They're just in the middle. <laughs> Let's count how many tracks there are. One, two, three. And they're all so colorful. Look at the colors on this one. We have orange, green, and blue. And check out that car. Do you know what colors these are? Yeah, yellow and purple. <gasps> hey, should we push these cars down the track? <laughs> yeah. Okay, car, get ready. Buckle up. Woo! <laughs> oh, we didn't make it all the way. Let's try again. Back it up. Reverse, reverse. <laughs> Here we go. Buckled up. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Do you know what car this is? <laughs> yeah, it's a fire truck. <laughs> Get your sirens on. Come on, we have to go save some people. Whoa, so fast. Hey, do you think we should make our train go down the track? <laughs> yeah. Okay, train, time to go down the medium track. Are you ready? Get set. Chugga 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 choo. Choo chugga 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 choo. Choo. <laughs> that was so much fun. Let's go see what other tracks we can drive our train down. Ooh. Wow. Check out this tiny town. It has tiny train tracks <gasps> and lots of trains. Whoa, chugga, chugga, chugga. I know. Let's count how many trains there are. One, two, three, chug, four, five, <laughs> six, and seven from my jam pack. Oh, this train is looking really dirty. Let's go to the train wash. Chugga, 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 chugga. Choo! Okay, time to get washed. Shh. <laughs> All clean. Whoa, it looks like I need to make some repairs to this track. <laughs> I have some tools in my jam pack. Whoa, look at this train station. Oh, uh, nice. <gasps> hmm, what should we do next? Uh, I know. Let's drive our trains around this track. <laughs> chug, 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 choo, choo. <gasps> wow, look at them go. Whoa, I wonder what this does. Hmm, let's see. Looks like a circle you can spin your train around. So then it could change directions and go down a different track. Oh, dead end. Let's go back. How about, hmm, let me see. My compass watch will tell me. Huh, let's go east. Chugga, chugga, choo. Let's go over the yellow bridge now. <laughs> chugga chugga choo! <laughs> Whoa, there are lots of other vehicles too. <gasps> A recycling chuck. Very good for the earth. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> too big for this track though. <gasps> Whoa, check this one out. I bet we can put our trains inside. <laughs> Load them up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's drive over to another place to explore. Whoa! 
Check out all these vehicles. There are so many different types of them. There's a choo-choo train, and a bicycle, and a race car. <coughs> what do you think? Should we try these vehicles? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go on our bicycle. <gasps> Woohoo! Bicycle. Whoa! <laughs> okay, let's try a race car next. Let's power up our engines. <laughs> honk, honk. Honk, honk. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa! So fast. I like cruising with you. <gasps> Whoa. Look at this car. It has a number on it. Do you know what number this is? Yeah. It's the number eight. Let's drive car number eight. <laughs> oh, but it's a red light. I have to stop. Green, go! Yellow means slow down. Okay, green, we can go fast again. <gasps> hey, check it out. Do you see that ball pit? <laughs> yeah, let's drive our choo-choo train over. Chugga 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 choo. Chugga 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 choo. Choo. Woo! What do you think? Should I get in the ball pit? <laughs> yeah! Let's go! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, I know. Let's make some snow angels. <laughs> Check it out! I found another train in the ball pit. This is a pretty big train. Chug, chug, chug. Choo, choo, choo. <laughs> okay, that was so much fun. Let's swim away. Wow! Look at all these colorful steps. Let's name the colors. We have dark green, Burgundy, pink, blue, green, just like grass, <gasps> purple, red, and navy blue. <laughs> Whoa, this is so colorful and fun. And look, another bridge. Let's chug across. Chug a chug a chug a chug a choo choo. Whoa! Look at this big red slide! Oh, I can't wait to slide down, but after you, train. Ready? Set! Go! Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, my turn! Three, two, one! Woo! <laughs> wow! What a great day! We found so many places to drive our train. We did it, we did it, we never ever quit it, we did it. Do you remember all the places we drove our train? Yeah, we drove our train over the bridge made of shapes. We drove our train on those little tracks in the tiny town. We even drove our train on medium tracks going downhill. And then we drove our train down the slide. <laughs> That was such a fun day driving around with you. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Okay, friends, see you later. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the Lang Foundation in Los Angeles, California. And here, you can adopt a dog or a cat, and then they can be part of your family. Oh, there's a dog right there. Oh, hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Megan. Hi, Megan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. This is Willow. Oh, hi, Willow. Oh, it's always important to ask before you pet an animal. Uh, can I pet Willow? Yes, you can. Okay. So just crouch down so you're on her level uh -huh. and put your fist out so she can hey. smell you. Willow, Willow. Oh, what do you think? 
<laughs> so sweet. Well, are there more animals inside? There are. Oh, let's go check them out. So what is this little one's name? This is Sprout. <gasps> Sprout, what a cute name. Hi, Sprout. I have some treats for Sprout. Is Sprout allowed to have a treat? Yes, he is. <laughs> See, you want a treat? You think Sprout likes treats? <laughs> Aw. Can we bring Sprout down to the ground and yeah. see if Sprout will want to play with us? Aw. Whoa, cool squeaky toy. It's a pink snake. <laughs> so once someone adopts an animal, what do they need to take care of the animal? Yeah, so for dogs, they need a leash, a collar, a harness, um, food, bowls, uh, and a lot of toys. Whoa! Food, bowls, toys. It's a lot of work to take care of an animal. They need a lot of things. Oh, and is it different for cats? Yeah, so cats would need um, also food, bowls, uh, litter box, litter, um, some good things to scratch on. Oh yeah, cats love to scratch. And a <laughs> safe carrier in case you need to take them to the vet. Oh wow. So you get a lot of things once you adopt an animal here. Yes. Yes, we give people some of the food that they've been eating, um, some toys. And where do you get all of these toys? They have so many fun things to play with here. We get a lot of it donated. Oh, people yeah? have extra supplies, they donate them to us, and yeah, it's a big help for us. Whoa, what a great idea to donate toys for these dogs and cats to play with. <laughs> oh, what's this toy? Where did these animals come from? So we rescue these animals from city shelters. Uh, basically, the shelters are crowded with animals, so we take them and find them new homes. Oh, that's really nice. And if someone wants to adopt an animal, what do they do? So we would have them come in and meet some of the animals. They'd fill out an application, and we would help them find the right animal that matches their family. Wow, that's awesome! It's so fun to play with cats and dogs, but it's also important to remember you have to take very special care of them. Whoa, come look at this dog. Whoa, what kind of dog is this? This is an American Bully Mix. American Bully Mix, whoa. This is a bigger dog, Oh, And she's so loving, what's her name? Uh, her name is Lady. Hi, Lady. Aww. So, so sweet. What's this? A blue, oh, like a little mouse with a super long tail. <laughs> Aww. This dog is so cool. Ooh, and I love the purple leash. One of my favorite colors. Love your leash. Oh, and what's on her belly here? Yeah, so she's definitely had a litter of puppies. Wow, a litter of puppies? That's so cool. How many puppies do you know? Um, I don't, but I think they can have up to 10 puppies. Whoa, that's a lot of puppies. Wow. Oh, well, it was nice to meet you. Thanks for playing with us. Lisa's ready for her bandage change. Okay, great. Aww. Hi. So what room is this? So this is our medical treatment area. Oh, a medical treatment area. So this is where animals go to be taken care of if they're sick or they have, maybe they hurt themselves. What's wrong with her leg? So we rescued her with a broken leg. Aww. And yeah, now she has a cast on and she's healing. Oh, good. That must mean she's feeling better. She definitely is. Yeah, I can hear some purring in there. She's purring really loud. Yeah, cats purr when they're in a great mood, right? Aww. And why is she wearing a big yellow flower? She looks super cute, and yellow is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> so that's an e collar, and it keeps her from taking her bandage off. Oh, that's so smart. And super cute. <laughs> Are there other cats that we can see? There are. Oh, let's go see some more cats. Feel better. Cool. Welcome to the catio. Get it? Cat, patio, 
It's the catio. <laughs> now they said that there are a lot of cats in here. Hmm. Will you help me find them? <laughs> awesome. Okay. Whoa. Look at all this. It kind of looks like something you would see at a playground. The cats can climb up here and they can scratch. <laughs> Come over here. Shh. I see a cat. Can you see it? Oh, it's sleeping. We found our first cat. Good job. Hmm. Oh, there's another cat over here. You see it? Hi, cat. That cat looks really soft. <laughs> and there's another cat. Hi, kitty. Wow, so we found one, two, three cats so far. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Do you see any other cats? <gasps> Come down here, all the way to the floor. There are two cats in there. They're cuddling. <gasps> I wonder if they're best friends. <laughs> Hi. They're so cute. So we have one, two, three, four, five cats so far. I wonder if there's any more. <laughs> Oh wow, there's some water and some food in here. They take really good care of their cats. Hmm, oh, look down here at these little boxes. See some blankets in here so the cats can be nice and comfy cozy. Oh, and look, it's a cutout of a cat face. That's cool. I don't see any cats though, do you? Hmm. I see one right here. Oh my goodness. Shh. This cat is taking a cat nap. Whoa, it looks really comfortable. I wonder if cats have dreams. Hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six cats. We found six cats. Thanks for finding cats with me. I wonder what else is here. Come on. Check it out. I'm in a cat room. This is where all the cats are hanging out, relaxing like this one. Whoa, hi, I'm Mika. This room is so cool. There's a tree in here. Whoa. I bet the cats like to scratch on the tree. Maybe they scratch their back on there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoa, and cool thing is to climb on. Look, a little cat toy, a little mouse. <laughs> what else is over here? Whoa, do you know what this is? This long yellow tube. The cats can climb up here and then climb through the tube. Maybe you've done something like that at a playground before. They must have so much fun here. And in each little cubby is where the cat can go and have a little nap. Any cats in here? Oh, there's a cat in there. I didn't even know that. Hi. Oh, there's two cats in there. I don't know if you can see. There's two cats just hanging out. Oh, a teddy bear. I wonder if cats like to cuddle with stuffed animals. That's so sweet. Aw. Well, I have a cat toy. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Let's see if some of these cats want to play with it, okay? Um, <laughs> anyone want to play with me today? What about you? <laughs> this cat's like, Please don't bother me, I'm trying to take a nap right now. Okay, understood, understood, okay. Hey look, there's big bowls of water here because it's important for cats to hydrate, just like us. Hey, something else that they can climb on. And look, these little holes, these little hidey holes that they can just get all comfy. 
cats seem to nap a lot. <laughs> hey, Megan. Hey. Oh my goodness. Who Come is this? One more friend for you to see. This oh is Memphis. Oh my gosh. Can I hold Memphis? Yes. He's eight weeks. Eight weeks? Just a little baby kitten. Wow, Memphis is brand new to the world. Oh, Wait, is Memphis from Memphis? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know how we got the name Memphis. Aww, it's a super cute name. So Memphis is only eight weeks old. What does Memphis usually do? Um, he plays with his two brothers. <gasps> You have two yeah, brothers? Yeah, two brothers. Oh, that's so fun. Wow, baby kittens are so teeny tiny. Aww, that's so nice meeting you, Memphis. Oh my goodness. You do such a good job taking care of all of these animals. Aww, thank you. Aww. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me hang out with you, Memphis. Getting to hang out with dogs and cats today, we learned about how to take care of our pets and adopt them and make them part of our family. Oh, cats and dogs are so cool. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika, <laughs> well, thanks for learning with me. See you next time. Bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make a learning fun. Mika, Mika. So much to learn.